Good evening, hope you're all well. Welcome to another Fallout 76. Uh, welcome, Bon6x. And um, Old Explorer, I think he's around somewhere, um, but he's probably lurking. He's probably uh, got his uh, got his gears in hand, ready to... Uh, that sounds a bit rude. Um, <laughs> I mean, to gamble on stream. So, let's, um, let's jump in. We are finishing the challenges. We started and did nearly like all of them. It's just we couldn't finish the dailies because we'd run out of daily challenges to be able to finish it in one day. Um, now, I got this a little bit wrong because I thought that the daily challenges would be literally one per day. But it just meant the daily challenges that you have every day. So you just had to complete a load of those. Which was a little bit unclear because I kind of think that for... Um, we'll, we'll get load into our character and then we can have a look. Um, the way they worded it sounded as if you needed to do one every day, um, but that isn't the case. They just meant dailies. I wish they're bloody cool things, different names. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. We're loading in, we're nearly level 200. We haven't yet started the bloody main story, so we're going to have to get around to doing that at some point. But our first job is to finish our scoreboard. Um, and um, yeah, I'm uh, dressed in my best scout gear. Ready and raring to go. Couldn't get chat to show. Ah, interesting. I mean, to be honest, I haven't been able to change my um, YouTube banner um, at all. And they are totally unhelpful. Like my banner on my actual channel. Can't change it. It's um, It just will not... It, it goes to the new one. And then it reverts straight back to the old one. So, kind of a bit irritating. Alright, we do really need to drink, and we need to eat. Um, I'm going to just eat all the spoiled fruit I've got, because we're a vegetarian, so this will give us a bit of radiation, but that doesn't really matter. It gets rid of some poor spoiled vegetables. I drop that. We don't, we don't need We don't need those. Um, oh, sugar palms. Are they new ones? Oh, they're new ones. Rubbish. Um, so, in our new scout outfit, we... Uh, I don't know why we're at the Wayward. Um, that isn't where we want to be anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> let's uh, let's head on back to Hot Sausage. Hot Sausage is our um, base of operations. Uh, one of the things we're going to be doing today is looking for a new place to place our camp. Now, although Hot Sausage is good, it doesn't really work for trade. It's very good for XP farming from Super Mutants, um, but it's no good for trade. So we need to build a nice trading camp because I'm getting sick and tired of Zane from Zane's World logging on and every single player in the entire Fallout 76 universe going to his camp and buying all this stuff. Um, <laughs> I need them to go and buy mine because i got some cool shit too. <laughs> hey John, how you doing? Loving the shag file carpet, man. <laughs> um, you know what I mean. I, I don't think it was actual true shag pile, but it's uh, it looked pretty shaggy to me. Um, in that photograph. So we're going to do that. Get rid of that. Oh, we learnt a lined long barrel. whoop de doo um, Got some other bits and bobs to sell in there. We always like, like to start off with a nice uh, clean, um, clean inventory. Hence the reason we've got so much crap in here. Um, we'll just stick all of this for the minute in... We don't need any of this. We don't need that. We'll keep some... We don't really need... Well, actually, no, we do. That's a, that's a lie. We need lots of water because the chems that we're using means that we do really get um, thirsty quite a lot. So I'll put all the ones that we're not using in here. Um, we're going to try... Oh, shit, that was the wrong one. <laughs> I need the Radex back out again, otherwise we might die a grisly death quite early on. Oh, I think I've got enough. Um, I need about 10, that'll do. Um, 14 lunch boxes. We'll stick a load in there. We've got to do some daily ops today as well. Um, Radex, uh, Rad Away, Scout Spanner, Stimpact, Tesla Science, Unstoppables. They can all go in there. Um, nothing else to report, I don't think. Uh, we've got to build that little thingy to put them. We've got a little poster frame that we can build to put that in. Um, so, let's join a team. I press the right buttons it could help um let's have a look we've got full full join join so let's join up that's a casual team 
fantastic. So, with our special loadout, we need to keep joining a team because then we're going to be a little bit more special. <laughs> um, I have changed my loadout. So, this is my new legendary perk, and we're going to try this out today. Um, the oh God, somebody's... Magnetic... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> what a perk to to uh, share. That's a bit of a strange one. So, as we're nearing level 200, we don't really need to level up. We don't really need the XP quite as much as we did originally. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going now for more of a damage build, because I was getting a bit peed off with having um, little ghouls and stuff come and take me out from behind, and um, I didn't know. So, um, we have ch I've changed this up, so it's more of a, a damage build. Um, so we should be doing a lot more damage. The problem I've got is that even though we're level 200, we haven't done any of the story, so therefore we don't have access to things like Secret Service Armour, um, which is the best armour you can get for an unarmed, or an, a best armour you can get for a non-power armour build, really. Um, nearly the best. Yeah, it is for what I want, for a bloodied build. Um, <laughs> it's a lame carpet, I'll give you that. Not quite shag, but definitely thick pile. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Zane from Zane's world. Well, where else would he be from? He's not. <laughs> What's the ultimate goal in this save? The ultimate goal in this save really is to um, obtain, uh, to finish the story really, and um, gain a really, really good build loadout. Um, with Fallout 76, as it evolves, I mean, you could say collect all the plans, but that could be impossible. Um, I want to be able to build a good character that can pretty much take on, say, the Scorched Beast Queen or Earl Williams. Really, Earl Williams. If I can build a build that can solo Earl Williams, who's the massive big dude with the postules out of his head in the, uh, in the mine, then that would be good. And I want to also be able to solo Earl Williams with a shotgun. So we've got the shotgun. We've just got to uh, we've got to build our uh, build ourselves up. Build me up, buttercup. Do 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 do. Build me up, do 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 Whenever you're around. Come come tongue time, tongue time. That was a brilliant Red Dwarf um, uh, version of that song. Absolutely, they nailed it. Um, I I think actually. They may it may have been a song written for that. I can't remember whether it's an actual song that they've just did, but uh, that that was good. YouTube it if you haven't uh, seen it before. Very good. Um, I don't need to hit a specific level, no, because how the game works is that you've got um, oh pit boys unavailable. Oh my little, he's very uh, he has a very camp pose. Let's just make sure that that did actually get me the well rested yes it did so how it works John is that you have the special loadouts so you've got a total maximum number of points you can put into any of these now they did add legendary perks which means you can add more levels so what I've got at the minute one thing that is irritating is that you can't unequip it without destroying the card um, whereas with normal loadouts um, so like with my normal cards, I can just take one off, so if I don't want this card and I want something else, I can take that one off, it gives me one unused point, and I can just pop another one back on again. But, with the legendary perks, you can't do that, and it's kind of irritating, because I don't really want now the intelligence, but I can't take it off without destroying that card, and to do destroy that card, I'm only going to get so many, I think, if I unequip it, it says... Yeah, so I've got to actually spend perk coin, which I've only got 13 left of, to unequip a card that cost me 200 and something perk coins to equip. So, it, it's kind of irritating that, because I want to be able to get rid of this one at some point, because we're not going to need this, necessarily. Um, we could just grab the lockpick perks. Um, taking one for the team, I know that you'll enjoy this one, John. Um, so this is just a new perk that I've added in, that enemies take 10% more damage when they attack you, if you're on a team. Hence the one of the reasons I need to be on a team. Um, Legendary Luck, I've added this in um, because this gives me the ability to put a lot of these ones in. So um, 
better criticals as Vats crits do 100% damage. Um, so Vats criticals is when I lock on to a target in my Vats build, because this is made for Vats, even though it's a shotgun build, I can um, get 100% damage whilst I'm in Vats. So I didn't really have, and when I was trying to build up the character, um, I was completely unbalanced than when we played yesterday because I had a very high or high level of character at level 200 um, or nearing 200 and yet I had weak I had a weak weapon I had a strong weapon but weak armor for the level but also my perks were all around getting as as much intelligence as I could to boost the levels so the enemy had level had increased but my armor and my perks weren't right for my level so hopefully today we should be able to see a massive difference in the fact that I shouldn't die as much theoretically um and um yeah we should just be better all round um so hopefully i can show you how it's done this is where i die straight away so let's have a look at what we've got to achieve today we've got oh what something just went like that um We've got a load of stuff to achieve. We can do clep caps. We've still got to do that. We've done 1,500 out of 2,500, so that's not bad. Um, <laughs> okay, Jason. <laughs> are pot coins unlimited but rare? Or are they limited and also rare? Um, perk coins you get for, or you can earn from... So every time you level up, so every time you go to another level, you get a... Um, I, think, I think it's every level you get a, per, a choice to... Um, choose another perk card so at the moment i've got 62 at the bottom there um it says pick a perk i've got 62 um available cards that i can pick if i want to and they can be any one of the perk cards when you scrap a card you get two perk coins so you can collect those and then that's the way that you would get legendary perks so there is a finite amount really because you Unless you level up and then scrap and level up and scrap. So to do that, it's a bit of a pain in the ass Because you could be a level 1,000. You could have thousands of perk points. But it just means you've got to play and you've got to level up a lot. So that's how they are... Um, that's how they're rewarded. Um, but it was an interesting thing they added in. Pick a perk of pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked a perk of pickle peppers. He did, indeed. I'm amazed I can say that, to be honest. <laughs> Let's. I, just need, I do need to check my fridge because um, somebody actually um, commented on this fridge on my last video. It was like, where the hell did you get the fridge? It's like, well, it's a, it's a very useful item. Um, you can actually add a perk that does. Um, it's called Good with Salt, and that and we've got it on actually. So any of the stuff that we keep on us has it, it spoils thirty percent. Um, more slowly, which is going to be good because we didn't have this on before and we were rinsing through our food. So let's eat cranberry relish. That gets us extra XP. So we still want the XP. Brain fungus soup, that gets the XP. But we're going to have a new one today. We're going to go for a blight soup. Um, so we've got to go find some blight um, to make the blight soup because this gives us 100% crit damage or 100% extra crit damage um, for I think half an hour, I think, per soup, which is pretty damn good. Um, can you say it in English? No, and I can't say it in other, any other language. I could probably say it in Bristolian. Um, we're going to get some corn. That's an AP regen, so some corn soup. Tomato soup, it gives us max AP. So it's all about the action points, which is the bar on the bottom. That No, it's that side. I've got my thingy reversed. So it's, it's down there, that one. That bar down there um, gives us that. Now, I'm just going to... Um, I'm having... Something is, is going... In, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, America's woken up. <laughs> That's uh, you guys are all awake now, apparently. Um, well, Diana, oh, we got Diana incoming. What's she saying? Ah, she's uh, she was saying, Is anyone live? And I'm like, Have you checked your notifications, Diana? She's like, ah, There she is. There you go, Diana. You eventually found your notification panel. <laughs> right, so we've got to kill a legendary enemy. We've got to kill a silent Snallygaster. We've got to take a picture of a Snallygaster. Now we can do that after they've died. Um, drink Nuka Twist. Well, it just so happens that we actually have two Nuka Twists. 
And um, so we could do that. But I have a feeling... Actually, yes, yeah, Nuka Twists also give the... Um, a, they get a random stat from them. Like Strength, Charisma, Intelligence, or something like that. Um, collect any flavour of Nuka Cola. That should be quite easy. Complete a daily quest. Complete a daily challenge. And scrap junk to produce cloth. Well, we can fairly easily do all of those quickly. So, shall we head over, first of all, and get this completed? Two... The Snallygasters, where they live. So they live here. So let's go and see if my build is correct. Ah, you're playing NMS as well. Okay. Well, if you have any questions for that, I can try and answer some of them. <laughs> some of us has been awake for more than eight hours. Oh, Mike, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. <laughs> Welcome. Um, that's because you get up at a ridiculous time in the morning, um, John. And yes, I can understand why, because of where you live and how bloody hot it is. Um, right, so now when I target them in VATS, um, if I... I should get a much, much um, better... So I'm killing them now with a couple of shots, though he doesn't even know where I am. So that is does seem like it's doing a lot more damage. Um, we'll have to be able to see when we can, um, see the damage numbers, and I just missed all of those damage numbers then. Um, well, we don't know all the recipes, and yet every recipe we find, antibiotics, says that we know it. Which is a little strange. I'm still having really bad, like, hay fever from the, um, I th I'm, I'm blaming it on hay fever. I don't know whether it is, but it just gives me a real bunged up nose, like, when I'm speaking. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. And I'm sure you all really wanted to know that. <laughs> so, we've done that. We need to take a picture of them. So, let's just jump down here again and um, whip out our little pro snap. We need to do it. Uh, we've got the, um, the ability to uh, upgrade this bad boy. There we go. Complete take a picture of Snallygaster, and I think we also completed the, um, there we go, kill a Snallygaster and take a picture of a cat Snallygaster. If anyone's ever after that, this Larry's um, Toxic Meet and Go, or Toxic Larry's Meet and Go, I, I don't know whether Larry's Meet and Go was toxic as well, or whether it was just that Larry was a toxic, who knows. Um, there's always three Snallygasters there, so it's a very good place to um, do that. Rain of the day, yeah, it's bloody pissing it down all day. Gek, sir, did you see Captain Steve's new video? No, I did not. What is Captain Steve's new video all about? I may have seen the thumbnail for it. Is Grounded any good? As a one? I don't know. I've never played Grounded. It was a, um, a game that I thought, that looks really cool. And then it, I had to wait for it to be out. And then when it came out, I was doing something else. And so I never really kind of caught it at the right time, but it does look very cool. Um, I, I'm guessing it probably is good as a one player, uh, a, a, a single player. Um, I think that was what it was. Wasn't that what it was made as? Grounded? Or am I thinking of a different game? Uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I'm pretty certain I'm... Um, um, right. What was the next thing we had to do? Kill a legendary enemy. Drink Nuka Twist. We can do the Nuka Twists because we've probably got them in our pocket. Knowing me, I kind of carry everything on me. Nuka Twist. There we go. One and two. And what has that given us? So then that's... Not only has that given us a score boost. Pardon me. We've also now completed and achieved all of the scum Scummer challenges. The, the Summer challenges, even. Um, so we have this one events. They're all done. They are all done. So we can now, um, we've made the squirrel backpack flare that we've got on us yesterday. You can, you can see if I show you. Put the weapon down. There is Mr. Squirrel. Hanging near my nuts. I've got to be a bit careful about him hanging near my nuts. He might try and harvest them. Um, but anyway. We've got that. Now we can um, 
craft a mod for our backpack, which is the first mod that we've got. So we probably it would be a good idea to go and make this and just pop it on because this one will enable us to um, let's go and do that. Let's pop back to hot sausage and do that. Um, this mod gives you um, a 90% reduction in the weight of your scrap that you're carrying on you, which will really help when we're just running around because we pick up everything. Hence the reason it's a squirrel scout type mod. Um, your daughter nicknamed NMS Grr. <laughs> well, it's a it's a good name. <laughs> Um, so, ah, yes, yes, he was talking about factions, wasn't he? I mean, factions would be cool, but the problem is with factions with No Man's Sky, they'd have had to have built it in a way that, and I don't think they thought of this, and if they did think of this, then they haven't done anything with it for a long time. But if they did introduce factions, um, they could massively enhance the game with having, like, player-owned space stations, or um, you could have group-owned space stations, or something like that, and you could enhance the economy of factions. But I just don't think that No Man's Sky is geared up and built to do that, um, and I think that it would be probably very difficult to do something like that. I think that it will definitely be featured something like that in their next game. Um, I think it will be something where the pe people can make factions and they can they can really push the boundaries of um like multiplayer co-op um i the only reason i think that they're going to probably do something multiplayer co-op heavily done is because no man's sky multiplayer doesn't never really worked properly and i think it's probably something that's a bugbear of sean's and he wants to get that right because he knows how um strong the demand is for kind of like co-op stuff and how people like to play together in sandbox type kit games now starfield isn't going to be multiplayer starfield will be single player so that's going to be interesting to see how that shapes the way of multi of single players versus multiplayers um quirky how you doing because there's a lot of multiplayers at the moment there isn't i wouldn't have said there's as many single players that are like this type of thing um Fallout 4, when that gets its reboot, that'll be cool. And I'd, I really would quite like to replay through that. Um, because I've never completed that game. I've nearly done it. Um, but as with me, I, I do everything squirrel-like. So I get a bit waylaid and everything. And somebody mended my corn. That was very nice of them. So we go to the armour um, workbench. We modify to add the um, backpack. So here we can modify. Now we've got Scrap Rat, which gives us a plus 5 carry weight and a 90% reduction in scrap weight. Now that's quite nice to have the carry weight um, increase. So let's have a look at the moment. I mean, we haven't got any scrap on us technically at the moment. It, uh, I don't think we're meant to. So we've got a, a weight of um, 208 and... Bloody hell. <laughs> we've got a, a weight, a carry weight of 290 and we've only, we've got a, we're carrying 208 worth of stuff. So we've... We do need to dump some stuff off us. Um, so this should increase that if I add this on. Um, I can get rid of that one. Don't need that. Um, mod, scrap, rat, make that. Let's see what it... So it's two cloth, two plastic, two rubber. Um, that's it. That's all that you have to... Two cloth, two plastic, and two rubber. And you can reduce your weight by masses. And um, so now we've got to go... We're still at 290, so it hasn't actually increased that at all, because that should be 295. So whether that just doesn't work is a different matter. Um, what have we got? Bone backpack. Plus 5 carry weight. It does say plus 5 carry weight, but it's not gone up from 290. So that's interesting. Um... We haven't got any junk on us, I don't think. So, oh, no. Bagger off. <laughs> I don't think we've got any junk. Oh, no, we have got junk on us. So, hmm. I'm not sure whether the actual backpack mod's working. But, um, anyway. We've done it. We've got it on there. There's nothing to see, unfortunately. But that is that is how, how it works. Um... I would imagine, Mike, that they will probably allow you to have or buy the oh, the thingy. Um, so depending on which new head you wear and see the new critter we make in the Nexus. 
you get different dialogue from him. A new critter we make in the Nexus, you get different dialogue from him. Chicanery as a foot as a foot. Um isn't chicanery going around a chicane? <laughs> Not sure what you mean. Um so yeah, it, it's herpes. I don't think we want to go and visit him, do we? <laughs> but he is on our team. <laughs> I'm not sure I want him on my team. It's herpes. Um, he's in a daily op. Well, should we go and help? It's her. No, he's on level 16. <laughs> he's also not on a daily ops team, which is kind of irritating. Um, but we're getting the bonus from him, so we'll we'll stay on that one. Um, this is not a, a, a um single player it's a multiplayer online so but you can play it in single player mode um you don't i mean i've joined a team purely because a lot of my stats and bonuses uh, mean that you need to have be on a team for them to work but you don't actually need to play with your team you don't even need to see them at all or do anything with them so um let's go and get some blight um so yeah you don't you don't need to um to play with your team um but it, it, you can do. Um, you, if you're at, say, an event, um, because there's events around the world, and it will be better if there's lots more players there. But you don't necessarily have to. You don't have to talk to each other. Um, you're just like other players on a map. But if you're in a, at an event, there are sometimes events that are harder that will work better if you've got more people. Um, so you'll have different people with different load buildouts, and they'll come in um, to do different things. Um, that means that you can just get the benefits from that but you don't need to uh, yeah you don't need to play with them you c if you have a full at first membership which is a, a membership that you can buy from uh, as a monthly um, or a yearly amount um it gives you a survival tent so it's this little survival tent i can place now this is like really crucial to this game um and it's kind of something to um it's it's worth kind of like buying the game when it's on a real big discount and then buying a Fallout first subscription because it will take it back up to about the same price as the full game but you've got that and that for a year and this means you've got access to a scrap box you've got access to your stash box you can sleep to gain generate your regen you've got a cooker and a um I'll pop it down and you can see and then a um, a banjo because um i like twanging my g-string um and um uh, prefer twang and John's G string. Where is he? Is he, is he still around? <laughs> and yeah, it, it it does help. However, um, obviously you've got the cost of that. But if you're playing the game all the time and you're enjoying it, uh, for me, I don't really watch TV. Don't gonna like play games or make games or play with other people in games. So it's um, I don't have like the subscriptions that other people do for the TV. So I spend it on this. Um, I don't mind that. I'm getting enjoyment out of it, and I've got a hell of a lot more than the the face value um, is worth of enjoyment out of this game. And I love Fallout. So what we're looking for now is some Blight. Now, Blight is gold and shiny, so we should be able to find it. However, it isn't very much around. You're a radar. Why are you... going to find some scrap and knickknacks to sell back to Raph. Are you? That's interesting. Maybe we've got up to a point where we are a high... Oh, he doesn't look too happy, does he? Where we've got to a point in our um, reputation with the raiders and the settlers. So maybe the raiders aren't now attacking us anymore. Now, the locations that I've got are... Um, let's have a look. I did blight. So we're going to be going to... It's the southern half of the ash heap. So we're in the right area, um, if I even had the, the mouse on the right game. So I want to be in this southern area, so let's travel to... What have we got? Hornwright Testing Site 3. I think there is some at Hornwright Testing Site 3. And um, there's some at Welch as well. Because we want to try and make this and, and get some Blight Soup on the go for our crit damage. <laughs> Shiny is picked up indefinitely. Um... No Welsh clothing. We haven't got any Welsh clothing in this, no, unfortunately. I don't know what Welsh clothing is. Is it just really bad clothing? 
Um, Project Paradise. Well, unless... I want, I want my iron! It's not allowing me to take that one. Right, what's this? Oh, some ultrasite. Is it going to let me take anything today? I don't think it is. Nope. Bloody ultrasight, and we've still got nothing. So, we're looking for Blight. Blight is shiny, and... Oh, it looks like somebody's been nuking around here as well. So we might not actually get any if it's been if this area has been nuked. Um, that would explain why there's ultrasite or decaying ultrasite veins. Um, because that doesn't do it. Let's have a look. Hmm. Would have been nuked a while ago because it isn't uh, isn't on there. Oh, right. That's done that one for the minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off a particular perk. Um, no, I don't want to. I'm going to take off one called Concentrated Fire. And I'll put on Green Thumb because we're going to need that. Now, the reason I'm taking this off is because I've been having the issue... Oh, there, There's the bloody Blight, but we're not going to be able to get it because it's been nuked. Bright Blight. I don't think Bright Blight... I mean, we'll take it anyway. It's usually golden. But at least we found where it lives. Um, there is a There is a legendary enemy, though. Just wandering around. So we will um we will check out. I need a legendary super mutant. So now this means that I'm not gonna be able to target their head. But the damage on a legendary three star level one hundred was insane. So that's we picked up a three star item as well, that's just quite nice. Um so this is definitely the place to come for our blight. Uh, we can and some more there. Yeah, th this is this is a very good location for blight. Um, now I don't know whether it's just so much because of the um, somebody's nuked this area previously. Um, but what we'll do is we'll pop down our old. Uh, oh, hello, floaty floaty, um, and see what we need for blight soup. Now, if I don't know whether you can make it with bright blight. Bright blight? Shine bright. Shine bright with a blight blight. Blight soup. No, you can't. So you need blight, not bright blight. I don't actually know what you can do with bright blight at all. I'm guessing it's just for red, um, whatever it's called. Um, I don't think we've even got any. Let's see if we've got one that's going to pop up with. Oh, what was that? No. I've never... That's a blight as well. Merlock jerky. A jerky turkey. Um, anything going to use bright blight? There must be one recipe somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe it's one that we don't have yet. Or maybe it's just flux. Because you need flux to um, do anything that's ultrasite, like ultrasite ammo, which is for killing like scorch beast queen, or it's it's good for scorched and scorched beasts basically. Um, kids Brahmin clock. When did I earn a kids Brahmin clock? I mean that's very cool, but I don't know when I got it. But never mind. Um, it'll be under food, won't it? Bright blight. Um, no, it isn't. Where is it then? Miscellaneous? No. How very weird. Where the hell has that gone? Raw. Cr there we go. It's not actually raw. It's raw crimson flux. Because we're in a new carrier. That's really irritating. So we've found a good area for flood, for um, blight, but unfortunately we can't get any of it because somebody's nuked the area and it's turned it into frickin' flux. Bastards. I should get a t-shirt that basically just says bastards on it. Because I always say it. I don't know why I say it so much. It's probably because it's an inoffensive offensive swear word, isn't it? Um, <laughs> thank you, Diana. Very, very careful. I like Gex streams. Good, thank you. I'm glad you like them. Um, a dragon. 
Oh, you wear a dragon. No, we don't. Well, we have Scorch Beasts, which kind of are dragons. I mean, they're flying. They kind of breathe sort of fire. Well, they don't breathe fire, but they breathe kind of energy. Um, and they, uh, they, they've got big wings and they've got a big fat body. So I suppose they are technically almost like dragons, aren't they? Um, hello, Annabelle. Welcome to the stream, you noob. Um, I'm just Okay, I hit the button, but it went from a field to outline only, kind of like I'd liked it already, and then hit the thumb when you ordered us to. Should I hit it now or wait until you, you next? Um, to be honest, John, you can shove that thumb wherever you want to shove that thumb. It's always a pleasure. Whatever makes you happy. Sometimes, you see, you can get the blue devil down here, but we haven't got that today. So, um, we're going to be sneaky sneaky. So, so this now, I don't have to worry about... See, I'm doing a hell of a lot more damage, two-shotting those. Uh, better uh, put some health back on me. Oh, better put some health back on me as they... Uh, oh, that's, that's going to really hurt in the morning, isn't it? That is really going to hurt in the morning. Um, where did I bloody... Lo Lynn, there we are. We're not too far away. There's my gorillas in the mist. Huh. Um, that was unfair. How am I meant to do anything if I can't even load in? Right, is, is it going to actually let me load in this time? Before I get... Oh yes, right. It's actually now put me somewhere that I can... I can not die instantly. So, the card that I took off was the VATS card, which means you can target specific limbs. Now, I don't need to target specific limbs unless we're doing an event where I want to have headshots or there's a particular thing that I need to find. So now I can just do that. But I've added a perk that when I'm in VATS and I've killed the item in VATS, it'll switch to the next enemy. So that's quite a nice... Um, a nice little addition. We do need to get a flamer on the case. That is definitely... Where's my... My pack's there in amongst the... Uh... Oh, I've only got some right foot do bones. Dem bones, dem bones. Oh, look! We got blight. This is now what I'm after. Blight. Now, I know there was one there, so I've managed to pick up two because we've got the perk card for the two things. Two for the one. Two for one. Two for doofer. We'll leave that little um glowing yellow thing because it's part of... um. It's part of the main story quest, and we are going to do the main story quest, but just um, just not today. <laughs> I want to try and finish the scoreboard first. So now we've got our loadout. I mean, theoretically, even though we've got lower intelligence, we can still we can kill a lot of things quicker. So therefore, we should still be able to balance our intelligent our our, our perk um, collecting. Perk collecting? Or our, our point collecting, our intelligence. Um... Oh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Can't get the words out, but hey, there you go. Right, somebody's going to be killing mole miners because they're going to want to kill mole miners. Oh, there's a bobby pin and with a... What's he doing? What's the little teddy bear doing? Is he trying to escape? Let's have a look in this safe. I think we may have to crack a lock today. Just crack a lock open. It wasn't even moved, was it? No, from the upright position. A scope to lever action. Um, a thingy, that, that'll be quite nice. I'll take that. So, we've got to drink any flavor... Collect any flavor of Nuka Cola. So, we'll go across to the Nuka well. Um, so, we've pretty much done that for the dailies. Basically, because... Um, That'll be easy to do, and they'll all complete at once. Got to collect caps, and we've then completed those characters. So therefore, it is just going to be a case of finding Blight, and then having a look for a new place to live. Now, we need to set up a look for a place where it's going to be a good trade, um, but I also want aesthetically pleasing as well. Um, man before machine. Okie dokie. This was a... Um, a mining town that the uh, basically that the story is that the mining company wanted to replace all of the workers with machines. That's where I 
there's a lot of robots around in this game because they were made by Hornwright um, Mining Company to um, replace the workers. And obviously people didn't like that. Um, so there's a lot of revolt around the uh, the miners. Um, a lot of them, the mole miners, that's why they got kind of those those dudes over there. Um, can I can I get him with a grenade? Well, I did a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, but um, I broke their nose, you could say. Um, but they they won't come off their roof, so it's fine. <laughs> so, let's see in here. Have we got any coke? No, we got no coke. See what we've got a script because I know we picked up, um, I've well, picked up one. We pick up loads of armor, but no, we haven't got the armor either. We must have scripted it all last time. Um, script what we can anyway. Um, all that and um, now what is this one like? Receive seven percent less explosion damage, <sighs> damage from animals, and effect. No, that one can be script as well. Gives us lots more scrippage. And um, that dude is still in daily ops. <laughs> He's dying a lot. <laughs> dying a lot. It's a possessed teddy bear, yes. Annabelle does, says, does she have the noob title? Yeah, she does have the noob title. She's earned it. Well and truly. Um... <laughs> John likes something there. He, he's just pretending. He's just pretending. Um... You've tried to do both thumbs at once anyway, John. It hurt. <laughs> Skyrim locks. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, it's Bethesda, so they, they are Skyrim locks. They're exactly the same. They just replaced it with a bobby pin as opposed to a... Um, what do you use in, in um, Skyrim? You use the... Um, you have an actual lockpick tool, don't you? Um... Yeah, Annabelle is a nice name. Two thumbs was a bit much. It was. It's uh, a bit ouchy, but it's a family channel. I've got to remember that Diana, Diana's daughter Annabelle is is watching. So I've got to be a bit careful. Don't want to uh, cause myself any problems. Otherwise Diana will be on the case. Right. So that there, you see, propped to um, go straight to the other other dude. Oh, I don't want to do that. I do want to do that. But it's actually, I didn't want to pick up the missiles or the missile. We want that, and we want. We don't want that. We want that. We want that. Okay, that's fine. Um. So this dude across there has got a rocket launcher, and he's not afraid to use it either. See, these dudes were take, were giving us a bit of a pummeling before. Oh, um, sugar bombs. I don't know the right ones. Um, we might get through stim packs a little. Oh, sheesh, kebab. He's he's a big boy, isn't he? Um, he's, they've all got missiles. They love their missiles. And a ladle. What? All right, let's... We've got to try and use our crit damage because that's... Oh, plan for mole miner gauntlet. We don't want that, but we do want the breather. We're being a bit selective of the junk that we take now. These days. Um, we don't want that. Oh. Uh, we've actually got to... Um, we definitely don't want that. That's where all our weight was. Scope lever action. Interesting. Oh, it's cool. We've got a hardened receiver. Now, we have actually got to get cloth. So, this is a good start. Oh, you little bugger. It's definitely, um... Oh, somebody's not... Somebody's not happy, are they? Well, they're also very dead now, so it's fine. It, this definitely does do a lot more damage. 100%. 100%. And we're not... When that little animation comes on there, it's procking a card called Nerd Rage, which means we um, get more damage. Oh, if we, it means we've gone below 20% health, so therefore we start doing the damage of our unyielding armor, um, or, or the extra um, damage. Um, what am I talking about? It's the extra damage caused by the fact that we are irradiated. So, for God's sake, I'll open the bloody perk packs then. I will, I'll open them. 
If you were dead, you'd be so pissed. Yeah, well, I mean, you probably wouldn't know much about it, would you? I mean, I don't think it would bother you too much. Um, right, let's, let's open all these perk packs before they just keep going ping, 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 ping. I'm sure I did this before the stream just to get rid of this irritating. Um, a tree walks into a bar. I'll have our root beer. <laughs> yep, knob. Um, this is where we get all our bubble gum from as well, because we get bubble gum in each pack. Even though we don't want any of these things. Although I do need the animal friend card, but I think we've got that anyway. Winning isn't everything. Inscribed on every second place trophy. It's quite funny. Um, we do actually have this. Now, I want... Yeah, we do. Look, we've got animal friend as three. So we've got a 75 chance to pacify it. We can get rid of that one. That gets us some perk cards you see there. Um... Oh, uh, you know, juice bar under the influence. Oh, your luck is increased by two. Or something. That could be good. Happy go lucky. Um, but we'll keep those. Now. And then we've got. Um, so aim your gun at some creatures for a 75% chance to pacify it. Wasteland Whisperer. And the animal friends aim your gun at an animal for a chance to pacify it. So I'm guessing those two do the same thing? I'm not really sure. At some creatures to pacify it, and then that's an animal. For... What's the difference between an animal and a creature? A bit strange. But I want a pet, and I want a pet beaver. Just because then I can go, nice beaver. Every time we go back to our camp. And also, other people can admire my beaver. Um, so, that is what we're going to try and find. We've got to try and find ourselves a pet beaver. Um, there's duct tape for Diana. Hold her down. That's, uh... Well, he died, I suppose, so we can talk about him now. Otherwise, we weren't going to talk about him because he was a... Uh, he was a naughty man. Um, but yeah, the old uh, old Rolf. Time a kangaroo down. We've got, we've got the duct tape. Time a, time a duck down. I don't know if it does the same thing. Well, that was a dodgy title for... Oh, my God. We Did we miss something? No, we didn't miss something. We can get that at a later date. Picking up... Oh, look at this uranium. Lovely uranium. Don't want to be too irradiated as I'm picking up our uranium and just shoving it in my pockets. Um, <laughs> oh, Stimpak. Mentat. I will have that. Thank you very much. Um, I didn't actually want to come down here, did we? We were looking for blight. That's what we're looking for. We've got two. Two is not really going to help us much, is it? I mean, it's gold and shiny, so we should be able to spot it from a little while away. We can't spot it from up there. I reckon something down over here. We haven't been down over here at all, I don't think. Let's have a look. Where are we? No, we haven't been in this direct in this area here. It's all very doom and gloomy, isn't it? Oh, did. Uh... He's gone up up a level. It's herpes, anyway, and he's gone up a level. And I think he's managed to complete his um, his probably first daily operation on his own in about forty minutes. <laughs> but I mean, at least he completed it. I'm hoping, hopeful. He died quite a lot, but um, we'll have to give him some kind of prize. Don't know what. But we'll find something. Um. That's your death you're talking about. <laughs> It'll be fine as long as you leave me something in your nice little bit of paper. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll take care of the swimming pool. I'll make sure it gets cleaned. Um, tea will be all right. She'll, she'll soon... Uh, she soon realised that she's got more space in the house for clothes, and she'll be fine. Because I can have your guitars, you see, and your um, and your amps, and your pedals. Oh, what's that? So there we go. It procked. So it gave me. I killed the first um, insect, and then the um, the vats kill went to the second one. Um, we're also we're doing a lot less. Um, take some bloat fly meat. How lovely. There's another bloat fly. We're doing, using a lot less AP, black titanium. Oh, thank you. When we actually um, 
shoot in vats now as well, which will massively help um, because we can... Oh, more loose screws. Don't mind if I do. Guided meditation. I don't really don't like that event. It's one of those events that I kind of like feel like you really have to do. We found some new cola anyway. We have to kind of do it because, because it's just one you do for legendaries and the teamwork really. But it is a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, maybe it's just because I don't like meditation. <laughs> I got ants in my pants, as my mother used to say. I think it's actually called ADHD, <laughs> um, but uh, we called it ants in our pants, or the mother called it ants in the pants, and that's when we couldn't sit still or concentrate on doing something for any period of time. Which, um, yeah. Oh look, there's the Flatwoods monster there. See if we can uh, creep up on him. He's um, quite elusive. Let's do. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Did he see us? I think you have to get a, a hit on him. Um, that little bugger. He's a bit far from Flatwoods, isn't he? This is quite a nice view. This quite area this here. But I don't think we'd get many visitors. Where are we? No, I don't think we'd get many visitors here. Probably not the best place for a trade route, really. But it would be a cool place for a camp. Because it's a nice big flattish piece of ground here. Um... There's a little camp over there. 13,000 gears? Well done. Um, oh, who's this? Oh, it's just a scavenger. Um, there is a... Um, there is a, um, a cooldown on gambling now. It's just five minutes. But yesterday was a little bit insane. I completely blame it on Zane. <laughs> He's not here to defend himself, you see. <laughs> but, um, but yes, it was a little bit mad. Oh, this is quite nice. It's, that's quite a nice little view. That might be quite a good spot. I mean, it's a bit burnt. But, I mean, at least it would stay warm, wouldn't it? Oh, what are they doing? They're having a little mother's meeting. Oh, Ooh, that was... Uh, that 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 works really nicely. So that's that switches from one to that to the next, um, which really gives you the ability to uh, take out a lot more. And why is that not working? It wasn't it? Wasn't wasn't working? Wasn't stabbing myself with an with a pointy needle? I hope they sterilise those stim packs. They're just lying about all over the place. I'm gonna gonna have a bit more of a problem on my hands. If I develop something, well, these are, this is really quite nice. I've not found burnt trees and stuff before. I've not actually seen this. I've never looked for it. But the charcoal logs is actually a really nice, <laughs> like little bit of graphics. I'm not quite sure what these lines are. I think it's just where they've joined the world together, stitched the world, and that it hasn't quite applied everything to the edge of the paper. So Bethesda couldn't. They had to keep. They were told, "You got to keep within the lines," and so they literally kept it within the lines. This is a little bit of a strange, strange area. Oh, a glowy. But right, he wasn't a legendary. But then I suppose we have already found a legendary. What's down there? Anything interesting? Um, hmm. I'm sure we just walked past this, didn't we? Did we just walk past this? Well, there's a moly. There's not much blight, though. No blight in sight. Brim Quarry. Do you know, I don't think I've actually ever been to this location. I may have been, but I just, I, it doesn't ring a bell. I do love this, um, the fact that it procs to the next um, next enemy. The, the fact that they're on the far side of the, of the world. Broadcast on all known frequencies and in all known languages, including Welsh. Hello, Dark Lord. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was it was Mike. Ha ha, hooray, Mike. Oh, look, fire, fire breathing corpse. But we could take the fusion corpse. We don't need it. Thank you, Mike, for using uh, Redeem. I quite enjoy those. And um, 
Everybody just gathers their points together and doesn't actually use them, old explorer. Um, although he was being very generous yesterday and giving out points left, right and centre. So I will... Um, right, we're going to take all of that and then we're going to drop all the missiles. Because for some reason you can't sell missiles. You can't sell fusion core. Oh, we can drop that one. Don't need the weight of that one. And we can drop that one as well. I didn't realise we had so many fusion cores on us. That's going to... That's going to certainly... And five missiles. Two plasma cores. We definitely don't need all of this shizzle. Um, shizzle manizzle. We'll um, wrap that. And, right, we've done the cloth. Awesome sausage. So we've got that. Now, the gun that we picked up yesterday, which I don't know where it is, and I don't know why it's not in our bag. Um, that one seemed like it should be good, and it would be good to test it in radiation rumble. However... It wasn't very good. Oh, there's a safe there. Um, it wasn't very good in the wilderness other than for robots. Um, which was a shame because it was a really, really nice roll. Um, it apparently wasn't really worth anything. Um, but I quite liked it. And it was what we were after. What we're after now, or the weapon that I'm really looking for is um, I'd like to build a loadout for a pistol build. I think that could be quite fun. Um, and I'd really like Bethesda. I'm going to put a put a request in to see if they can have a, like a t make a two-handed pistol build so you can actually have um, like two pistols so you can go pew, 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 like that. That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. And uh, they've got to do that animation as well. Um, because that would be like essential to the whole mix, really. <laughs> but it would be awesome because otherwise, at the moment, you can only shoot with one hand, and I mean, you just wouldn't do that, would you? I mean, if if you were in the wasteland and you could have two ten millimeters, you'd have two ten millimeters, wouldn't you? I mean, yes, it would double the damage, and so there'd have to be something that is um, there's a negative to it if you use. Um, but if we can have a, a, a double barrel shotgun that shoots eight, um, this is so much better loadout. Such a better loadout. It's so much easier to um, shoot mole miners in the face. Um, I don't think I have ever seen this. I don't think I've ever been here. Oh, Mentats. A miner's lamp and a wooden spoon. We'd better take the foreman's key. You never know where that foreman's key is. Well, that unlocks. Could be treasures behind those, uh, those, uh, whatever doors he has. I think what it does is it just gives us the option to do another little side quest. Why don't I do that? And then I can take all the caps. I've got to try and collect the caps because we're going to need that. We want the suit breather, suit filter. We want, um, we don't really need shotgun shells at all. There's absolutely no need to collect shotgun shells. We have, like, at, we've got tens of thousands of the buggers. Um, Dark Lord. Ah, he's Gamble. Oh, that gives you something to play with, Ducky. Um, well, there's a cooldown now, Dark Lord. I've, put, I've added a cooldown onto... Um, actually, I have been here before, because this was an area where the, the load-barring event, I think, comes on, isn't it? Um... I just couldn't remember coming down from that angle. Maybe it's just because I don't usually come down from that angle. Giggity. Um, a screwdriver. That comes down from that angle. So we're going back into... Uh, out of this again. So we're going to Camden Park. I don't really want to go to Camden Park. I want to try and find some... This area had been nuked there, which is really irritating. That's a death. Let's go to Nicholas's, Nicholson's End. I mean, I think there could be some around here because I think there's a vault around here. Um, Four hundred and twenty-one thousand points. That is absolutely bloody ridiculous. Oh, is that the uh, the observant radstag? So this of uh, observant radstag. If we follow it, it should take us to some um, some location that we haven't or or on. It takes you to something that you haven't discovered, I think, or an event, or, or not an event, but a, um, a location, like a cool location. So it can appear anywhere on the map. 
but it should take you to either something that you don't know um, or that you haven't discovered. Something like that. I'm sure Dark Lord will be able to correct me. Basically, we just have to follow it until it stops, but it will take us to somewhere that we don't know about. Do do. That's a, that's a cool area. It's a cool area. Um, but I think we've been here. Oh. Hello. You're taking me to this, are you? This is this is what you're taking me to. You're an absolute rad sausage, aren't you? Um. No, I want you to, to stick your head up. Go on. That's a good one. That's a good one. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, so basically, you're not taking me to anything. What are those little little legs hanging out the front? They're a bit freaky, aren't they? A bit freaky. You're taking me to here, which I already know. Quite a cool big bucket, though. And um, I always thought they'd have used this for a kind of location for something cool. Because it's obviously it was a massive, very big mining, bit of mining technology. Um, this, the story and the lore behind this is that basically these um, these were used to take... Look at that. That is some awesome killing. Some awesome vat kills. Uh, um these basically were used to take the tops off the mountains. So they basically just scalped the mountains for mining. Um, I want... There's there's usually some blight on these trees, I think. Something around here somewhere. There's a, there is a vault around here as well. Uh, blight can be pretty much growing on anything, but it usually grows on trees. It's golden. And shiny. I don't think the observant ragstag was that observant today. Didn't really take us to anywhere that I wanted to go. Um, can't see any around here. I'll just double check what Dark Lord was on about. He's, he was laughing, so. Um, hello, Zane. How are you doing? What was he saying? Gamble all. Um, GG, stop! Oh, you couldn't do it because you didn't have the points. <laughs> uh, hashtag bottom. <laughs> Shaved a beaver is the softest fur ever, is it? <laughs> it is illegal to have a pet beaver. Well, I mean... You can, because I've seen somebody with one in the game. It might be illegal to have a pet beaver, like, in real life, because beaver is an endangered species. Um, we have little beavers. We have some beavers uh, wild on the... Uh, Gamble 10,000, won 20,000 gears, now it's 315. I mean, he is going to be catching you, um, old explorer. He is catching you. You're going to have to be careful you don't give too many of that 421,000 away. Um, otherwise, Zane will be on... Uh, he's only 100,000... 110,000 behind you. Uh, <laughs> how are you doing, Zane? Um, we, we were looking for some blight because I want to make... I've changed my loadout um, and it's awesome, by the way. For this shotgun build, it's, it's so much better. Um, it, it's... The VATS switch um, is, is awesome. The fact that on kill, it will switch to something else. Um, I've increased all of my max damage massively. Um... Reducing my intelligence slightly, but I'm not so worried about picking out the, um, the levels now because I don't really need to level up that quick. Um, we can always switch that back um, if we need to farm, but I think that being able to kill things quicker will mean we kill more, which means I, it will probably balance out our intelligence. And we can still do the berry mentats and stuff anyway. But. Um, one shots on on a lot of stuff, including um, mole rats. Um, it were the kind of normally a one shot kill. 
Can we get a perfectly preserved pie? No. But the fact that it switches when you've on one kill for the next bats is pretty damn good. Um, I've got a be better damage resistance as well now. So that's also very much more useful. Oh, a recipe. We know it. We always know the damn recipes. There's nothing in the safe. Um, is there anything in the toolbox? Nothing in the toolbox, you bastards. Um, I didn't think I'd been here, but I clearly have been here. Because it isn't going... Oh, there's some blight. What I'm after is some blight. We want to make blight soup because this gives 100% um, crit damage for half an hour. Um, so we've got four, so we'll be able to make a load. Um, this is going to be super useful on this build because I should be proccing the crit fill meter probably every second shot now um, in vats, which will mean that I can do a hell of a lot more damage much quicker. Um, really making this an epically um, good build but right, I know where we are he knows where we are but we need a cooker we need a cooker um I think Gabby's gone to see Barbie tonight um with her tennis team they're all girls, by the way. Um, because they I think they've done really well. Considering she's got a real junior team this year, there's kind of like there's nobody really older than about twenty five playing in the team with her. Um because all of the older ones that usually play just like couldn't get the holiday, um, or like at short notice, or couldn't afford to book the holiday when they because they've got like got kids and stuff, so it's really difficult to just have another week off. Um, and we need to take that. I, I think we've completed it anyway. Um, oh, this would where it would be good to have the Tesla rifle. Have we got the Tesla rifle on us? Because that would be interesting to see how good that is now. We've got... Um, let's make this full. We've still got our sneak. So we can sneak and we can vat and see what a difference this is going to make now. Not, it's not that amazing, to be honest. I'm quite, I'm, I'm not very happy with how it performs um, at the minute. You rely on that switch so much, makes it, yeah, that's because you're not very good. <laughs> Shout if you get a jamboree, by the way, daily for snally gas is a bitch. No, it isn't. It's ain't. Honestly, the daily for Snally Gas is easy. Easy peasy. You'll do it in seconds. Go to Larry's Toxic. Toxic Larry's Meet and Go. Three Snally Gasters always spawn outside that. Every single day. Every, all the time. Unless somebody has gone and killed them. Which I did go and kill them. So you might want to do that on a different server. <laughs> but go to Tox Toxic Larry's Meet and Go. You'll get three Snally Gasters right outside. You'll spawn in behind a tree. So you've got enough time to like sneak. Go into sneak mode. Um, the um, yeah I think that's right I think radiation rumble will be good for it for just tagging things and that's really only what I want to do um, but considering it's meant to be good against robots and stuff this one it's only doing 49 damage you see so I suppose um I do need to eat and drink, though. Let's twist again. Like we did. Why have we got four intestines on us? Like we did last time. We don't need that either. Well, that does give us extra luck. We we're a vegetarian, don't you know? Um. Pardon me. Um. Have I got any vegetables on me at all? No, I haven't got any vegetables on me at all. Not even a few gone-off vegetables. Um, right, we'll switch back to the... I, I was going to say, I bet you that brings out my frickin'... So, this cold shoulder is just going to be awesomely devastating now. 
I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to use even less ammo as well, because I'm doing so much more damage per shot. Um, I'll, sh I'll have a look at the damage per shot in a sec, but... But, um, I need to put the damage numbers on, actually. Because, is it showing damage numbers, or is it just being a, a knob? There's a Scorch Beast there. Where, how, where did you come from, you legendary Scorch Beast? Um, I was using a proper build, Zane, but I was using a build for intelligence that was just based on high intelligence. Um, because I wanted to get up through the levels quickly. And obviously that was the whole point initially of this challenge, was to try and get the scoreboard done quick, um, which I soon realised was a, a bit of a impossibility on a brand new character. Um, I think we probably could have done it in, in a, a shorter time with a new, um, with an existing character, and just done a high intelligence build on an existing character. But the high intelligence build was meaning that I was not able to make full use of, or not even half use of the damage ability of this weapon. Um, the fact that I don't have very good armor doesn't help. I'm sure there was a blight around here. You damn blighter. But I can't see it. Um... Yeah, so I had a lot of perk cards that were doing other things. Um, oh, there's a stalker. Well, he's not very, not a very good stalker, is he? He's freaking lying on the floor dead. Oh, he's now dead. We still haven't got marsupial, and I'm not actually missing. What the hell? Oh, what is that? That's a robo brain tactician. That's a bit elongated. I think something's happened to him in the old graphics. <laughs> um, let's claim this, because why not? Um, I don't know whether it's one thing we've got to do. Maybe it's something we've got to do for is it daily? Claim a workshop? Have a look. Um, no, we just got to complete a daily quest. Oh, that's easy. So we just got to get four more Nuka Colas. So we'll go to Nuka World. Um, let's, what's this? Most Wanted. Oh, we'll, we'll grab onto that. Um, go Steel Jane. <laughs> Go steal Zane's veg. I'll go and pop in and grab a cabbage. <laughs> um, I mean, to be honest, that is a place that I kind of found. And I don't think... I didn't Google it. I think I just came across it um, with the Snallygasters. Because I always used to go and try and get them to proc up near the... Um, up here. Because you usually get Snallygasters around Kitty, Kitty Corner Cabins. That's one. Kitty Corner Cabins. That's where I usually got them. Um, or quite a lot of the time. It's either Snallygasters or it's um, frickin' Scorpions. Bloody Scorpions. Hate Scorpions. Um, okay. We are we are good to go. we are got our magnetic personality on. I don't know why he's... Why is why somebody choose... We've only got it shared once. Interesting. Um, Alright. Gotta steal this from the safe. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get all the loot. All the... Ow! Ow! Did I forget to, like, load up with, um... Um, can somebody get me up, please? Anybody? Any one of you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, hello. Old Explorer would have loved that. He would have uh, got up the skirt of that that lovely lady. Not that he's a pervert or anything. Just that he likes the ladies. No, I, I want it. It's mine. <laughs> you know, darn degenerate. He's following me, I think. Let's go and stick some loot in the uh, deposit me loot. We've only got ten in the bloody wagon. But well, now we've got 65. That's because that's... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get that one down. Um, we do definitely need to get um, our good armor. We've got the best armor that we can get at the minute. Um, but we definitely do need to make it uh, make it certainly a lot better. Um, that will come with Secret Service. I'm not quite sure how quickly we can get the Secret Service armor. 
because that does involve quite a lot of quests. Um, oh, you little bugger. He's gold as well. No, he isn't gold. I don't know what... Oh, there he is. He is a gold varmint. Right. We can we can get him with a with a crit shot there. That's good. Two hundred and thirty out of three hundred and sixty. Oh, we're not gonna get very well here, are we? Get that sheriff in town. Steal from the wall safe. Howdy, partner. Oh, I just took that one, but we'll take it again. We'll get this big bugger. So they take longer because they're harder to get, and whilst you're doing that, you could get shot in the bum. And it's never good to get shot in the bum. Um, is that guy keeping on being killed? Okay, I'll go and get him up. Come on. I don't remember taking uh, Berry Mentats, but... Um, we've got it anyway. Right, we've done the getaway wagon, so now we've got to defend the getaway wagon. So we'll go into the lower sneak mode. We'll, uh... That one, uh, that one made a bit of a dent. A bit of a dent, didn't it? Oh, she's doing alright. Oh, the sneaky little bugger. Oh, it was it was the assault tron. <laughs> A plant electrified assault tron blade. Well, I'll take it anyway. I'll take it. Is it time to uh, for this dude to come out of his uh, his cave? He dies very very quickly anyway. Oh, I'm out of grenades. That's never good. Um, Zane, have you made the um? Uh, have you finished the? Oh, it's probably a silly question, but have you finished the new challenges? And if so, have you made the new mod for the backpack? If you haven't, I made it earlier, and it made no difference to my stats. It's meant to give plus five carry weight and then reduce the weight of your junk, and it did absolutely nothing to my weight. So I don't know whether it's just broken. Um, are these dudes. Oh, there he is. There he is. Better get some shots on him before he's uh, he's absolutely annihilated. But we want to get behind him. If we haven't got targeted vats on, um, which we haven't, so we can't um, target the cores. If you've got, um, we need to drink some coffee as well, really. He's down. So you need to really target the cores. Um, if you target the cores, then he'll die really, really fast. But I didn't have Gunther's big iron. That's what happens if you get too close. So we got a, a ju Juggernaut's bone hammer. Fantastic. I'll grab your stuff, though. Juggernaut's bone hammer and. Um, something else. We'll then go and grab the cola because we need to pick up cola. Don't just spoiled me. If it was spoiled veg, I'd guzzle that down. I'd guzzle it. So, we're going to get rid of Gunther's Big Iron, Juggernaut's Bone Hammer, and that's all we've got. So we've got another pitiful 280 um, squip. Squip, squip. Um, assault and Blade. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. And that's that done. Let's go and find some Coca-Cola. Oh, we didn't put our stuff in the scrap box, did we? I think I need an assault from Circus Ergy Board, and I keep on getting them and I keep scrapping them, which is really stupid. Um, we're going to go up here, because there's always Coke up here. Good night, Miss Annabelle. You noob. Sleep well. Oh. <laughs> There's obviously been an event that I missed here. Um, the, the new event. 
Um, but it, So that means that people have gone in to grab and pillage. When did I miss this? How did I miss this event? I'm obviously clearly not looking correctly, am I? I'll get my 60 caps, though. But somebody will have stolen all the Coca-Cola. Which means I'm going to have to go somewhere else. Well, I need razor grain, though. We need to plant some razor grain. Because we are going to get onto the alcohol at some point. Just not now. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying my my non-alcoholic detox playthrough. <laughs> Usually we just have so much alcohol. Fly ourselves and then whiz into... Oh, Mentats. We're getting a lot of Mentats today, which is rather fancy. Um, right, we're going to go to... We only need to get a few more. So let's go to here. No, we're not, not going there. We're going to there, but we're going to go to Green Country Lodge. But we'll go to his camp. Oh, it's it's Herpes camp. We might get something. We've got to just not touch anything. Go here and not touch anything. I go to the train near Watoga. There are eight there. Um, I went to one area and it had been nuked. <laughs> so there's like, there was eight. <laughs> oh, there was about, yeah, there was eight. But they were all glowing. So, um, yeah, no, no use at all. Right, we're coming here because... Um, oh, they somebody actually purchased my buff out. Wow. Never sold buff out. Let's go Green Country Lodge. We're going to go Green Country Lodge because hopefully nobody's been here to steal the Coca-Cola. Um, and we can get the lovely Coca-Cola and have the bubbles. The bubbles. We like the bubbles. Um, right. In here. Not... Oh! Well, that's so good with a procking. I just didn't have it because I didn't have the available perk cards. Oh, do we have Coke in the fridge? We have got Coke in the fridge. And we've got three Coke in the fridge. And that means we can do our score challenge. Look at that. 3,000... Oh, no, we did make it. 3,265 would have been a bitch, wouldn't it? Right, we can get that. We can get our neon lights and our 250 legendary script. Awesome sausage. Next one is a star-studded stain. And then we're nearly at our outfit. We're nearly at our rubber monster outfit. I'll be wearing that rubber monster outfit for a long time. John will love it. It's better than the uh, other rubber outfit that it usually gets me to wear. Don't you, don't you think you can get away with it? So we've done that. So we've got to do a daily quest. Oh, we've got to do a daily quest? I read that as a daily operation for some reason. I've still got to do three daily operations. So we can do those. Um, is saying on this map? Saying there's a space in this, um, in this team. If you want to um, join this team. And then I can we can go and do a daily op. Oh, another new cola. I'll take that. Thank you very much. We need to go and make some um, some blight soup. Thank you, Dark Lord. Though I will um, I will go and check that out in a sec. I'm just going to try and. Is there a cooker around here? No, it's just a campfire. Um, oh, I'll take the rat poison though. I really couldn't give a shit what you're saying, mate. I really couldn't care. That was pleasant. That was pleasant. He just burped in my face, the bastard. Um. Uh, Move out the way, a big fat moo. Right, um, bobby pins. What's this plan? A single action revolver ivory grip. We do know that, strangely enough. It's one of the, um, the, I think it probably is the most common per, uh, plan. Do we get a pie? Do we get a pie? No, we don't get a pie. Um, what's this one? Oh, Yalgai Roast. We didn't actually know that one. We'll take that. We'll take another Coke. Thank you. Have a Coke and a smile. I surely will. Bubble gum. Bibbly bubbly, bibbly bubbly, bibbly bubbly, bubble gum. Um, cap, thank you. What's this recipe? Oh, we know that. Oh, imitation seafood. We can eat all of this because this gives... I oh, know it. Vegetarian ham? Oh, that's all right. We can take the vegetarian ham, but we can't eat them imitation seafood. That doesn't do anything good for us. So that must be meat. They class... See, they're the type of vegetarian, 
that classes um, seafood as meat, whereas there are many vegetarians that just will eat it anyway. He's feeling lucky, isn't he? He's feeling lucky. He was feeling lucky, punk. Right, let's make this... Um, let's swack on super duper. Super duper de -de 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 -de. Oh! Somebody just bought a, something for 1800 Woohoo! And we don't usually sell very much at all. But, um... Oh! Granny's tea! What does Granny's tea do? Oh. We won't, we won't be able to find out. Right, Blight Soup, let's make lots of this. This will give us crit damage, which will be awesome. And let's see what else I can, can I make anything else? I just need some freaking vegetables. Glowing meat steak, that isn't really what I want to be making, but I'll make it anyway. Mole rat chunks, no, but we'll do them anyway. Cook them and give them to somebody. Razor grain soup, that's what we want. Um, Razor grain soup, sugar. Tomato juice is quite good as well. I would quite like it. Why does it not show you what that does? What what it what it actually gives you? Because oh, it did. It does on this side. Oh, and we got some more blight soup. So, how much blight soup did we get? Six. So we cropped two. Then that was quite good. Um, we don't need that. Uh, fried rad roach on a stick. It just sounds so lovely, doesn't it? New Carol, let's uh, drink some of that. We've got to keep keep ourselves. Uh, we've got sixteen thousand. We're going to have to buy a serum, or to buy lots of plans. Um, purified water and razor grain. We'll take it all. See, we're we're a good scavenger. We're a good scavenger. Where did Dark Lord say? Yo, Beebs, how you doing? That's what they call a pescatarian. A pescatarian is just somebody who just eats fish. Isn't it? I suppose that would be fish and... Fish and veg. Um, how are you? Hope you're well. Hope uh, the wild files haven't made it to Malta. I mean, they've got a nice, nice big bit of water around you. Um, but yeah, the um, the airport that I was going to go out of was shut from the, uh, from the fires. And then... The airport that I managed to actually fly out of has now been shut because of the wildfires. So you can't get in and out of Sicily at the moment on on air. Um, so I'm glad that I came back last week and not this week and wasn't out there this week. Is allowed to eat fish. I, I thought a pescatarian was somebody who only ate fish. Yeah, fish is their only meat. That's that's right. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. Um. <laughs> yeah, he was. Um, he was risking. Oh, was, is Zane gambling a sneaky 10,000? He said one another 20,000. It's pretty good. You are catching him up. <laughs> um, yeah, Beebs, they were all gambling. Gambling massively. Um, where did Dark Lord say? He said... Um, he said he goes to... Train Yard near Watoga. There are eight. Oh, no, I know... Oh, are you, you're not talking about Blight, are you? You're talking about freaking Snallygusters. <laughs> so, Zane, Watoga, um, the the junk, the, the train yard near Watoga, you'll get about eight Snallygusters in there as well. But you'll probably also get very dead. Because um, they sneak up on you, like a sneaky uppy kind of thing. You're pretty much a Frizzatarian, are you? <laughs> as, um... <laughs> I think I sent it to Zane. I did send it to Zane earlier. There was something I, I saw and I clipped it. And it was um, basically somebody had made a burger with like every type of meat and, st and a, like a T-bone steak in it. <laughs> and said, I've been trying to make a salad and I just don't know where I'm going wrong. <laughs> it was just like, that, is, that is me. Hey, Midnight, how you doing? People here gamble? I'm shocked. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a miracle, isn't it? I mean, I have put a, a time limit on it now. They've got a cooldown of five minutes between their, their gambles. They're not allowed to. <laughs> Has, have you sampled the full menu of the uh, of that new burger joint yet from where you are, Biebs? Um I thought the Dark was talking about Blight. He wasn't. He was talking about Snally Gusters. Um, right, daily quests. So we've got to do a daily. So... Should we pick something that's a little bit more interesting? Um, 
We could go to up here and then we could go and find... Ward's equipment is boring. Oh, who's 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 at my ass? Chonka goes meow. Fair enough. I'm guessing. I'm guessing his cat is called Chonka. Who knows? I don't know what he's going to buy. What daily quest can we do? That's a monster. Oh, no, I don't do that. Um, what daily quest shall we do that isn't? Let's have a look on our dailies. See what's um. See what's buried with honor. That was quite a good one actually. Um, someone to talk to. Um, animal noises, human speech, left instruction, have to follow an order. Uh, we could get, yeah, let's do this one because then we can get the, um, syringa. Let's do that. Um, let's just turn off the others because we seem to have got everything back on again. We've got to get the, um, and then sign. Oh, no, wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Do, 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 do. I've got to turn all of these off every time. I don't know why they decide they want to come on every day. You turn them off, and they come back on again. Um, and that's done. Oh, we're the only one in my casual group now. I'm the only one. Only me. I think everybody's logged off, basically. So um Zane, if you wanna if you wanna join me, then be my guest. Um Only Me dude. Oh, dog would die off. That's an event. That's not a daily though. Tonka goes meow is that the dog would die off. I don't know what you actually get for dog would die off. I don't think you get anything good. I know that's um the um Gassy Fargassia um always does that event whenever it comes on. <laughs> just quite funny distinguished guests is the event that's on there i don't want to do it because i don't like it so we're going to go to begin the vox interpreted data collection exercise um we've got to go to here to monogar so let's go conspiracy think gg turned the odds down <laughs> along with the timer well, I don't think I could have done because blooming Zane's gambling frickin' 10,000 and winning 20,000. Um, you won a few times today. Woohoo! Um, you think you're missing something. What are you missing? You did gamble alls. Yeah, gamble alls, um, Old Explorer, is the same. It's 10,000. So it's the same as, get as Zane gambling 10,000. So it does exactly the same thing because that's the cap. Um, oh no, midnight! You lost a thousand gears. It's because Zane and um, Old Explorer have taken all the luck away from the um, from the gambling machine. Zane's lost the plot. He's going cuckoo. Um, what have we got to do? We've got to go find this dude. All right, Mon Monogar. I don't. That's probably not how you pronounce it. I'm probably pronouncing it far too posh. Um, let's see if we've got. Oh, wrong one. Have we got any grenades? We've got a pulse grenade. We've got a Molotov. Theoretically, they're all furry. So that should burn them really quite nicely, shouldn't it? It does absolutely bugger all damage. So a shotgun to the face it is. We'll take all of your stuff. They carry a lot of stuff on them. Um, right, there we go. That's where we've got to get to. The Vox Interpreter Challenge. But we will be uh, thwarted on our way, I'm sure, by lots of hairy moles. I don't know what made them... Is it cloth or are they actually hairy? Well, I think they're just wearing a lot of cloth. You can't really see. He's, well, it's not really a mole, is it? I think they just they look like moles because they've got the breather on. The suit breather on the wraps. I think they are actually like kind of humans because they look very humanoid kind of hands and stuff. But um, I think they've just been... Uh, seriously burnt and buried alive and that's made that them uh, more kind of uh, unappreciative of other people 
Um, I mean, I suppose that would make you... Can I get out, please? Why am I stuck? I'm stuck on a tractor. Not a normal tractor, but a tractor. Okay, so let's uh, let's go in. Always got to take stuff out of the box. <laughs> you got shitty luck lately. I'm feeling you're trolling me. I'm not good at noticing that shiz. Um, you have shit luck, Beebs. You've really shit luck. You just won the 1,610 gears. <laughs> Your luck blows, yeah. Midnight, my luck blows too. I I lose on my own on my own game. I don't even gamble anymore. I've given it up. Mary, or Mary, I'm guessing that was some kind of creature that they kept in there. So this is some kind of like, oh here we are, box syringe, and syringe ammo. Oh, I'll well, take that. Get the board water. So oh, take another stim pack or two. What's that? Oh. A known chemistry workbench. Now this is where you get a chemistry workbench plan. I don't know why you'd need a chemistry workbench plan because you kind of get that anyway. So let's um have a look at what we got to do. Did we did we miss something? Dog tags? No. Huh. He lie beb canofni. Na mug al si pasukra. Kakasi ti na I can never I could never remember that that fourth line. Because it's a big line. I could just, I could only ever remember the Heli Beb Canofni, which is hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, calcium. I think it is. Boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, magnesium, um, sodium, magnesium. I had to do chemistry at A-level. I sucked. Because I could never remember anything. I, I found it really interesting, but I just couldn't remember the bloody stuff. I'd get into an exam and I'd be like, no clue. Get out of the exam and I could draw benzene rings for days. You do not troll only when I fish. Um, duck has stuck as duct tape. Good, I'm glad. We've got plenty of duct tape. We've been picking it all up. <laughs> yeah. you, you need a nap. Your eyes have gone crossed. How long have you been... You, you, you're in the US, though, so you've only just woken up. <laughs> right, let's um, begin the Vox Interpretation Data Collection exercise. So, I have two... Um, before venturing out to collect data, remember to bring your syringe and a sufficient supply of ammo. Procedure. Take the Vox interpreter holotape and load it into your recording device. The program should start automatically. And it will wait to receive signals from the darts. Tag the animal you wish to interpret. I'll need to collect data from a number of creatures if you want to fully understand them. Maintain the data collection for about 45 seconds for an optical sample. For these preliminary trials, it doesn't matter if any animal dies in the process, but to try to keep it alive long enough to get sufficient data. Holotape should provide enough storage for roughly three encounters. Return the holotape to the lab terminal for processing. After data has finished processing, you may repeat the process. Fantastic. So, we, um, we haven't got any logs yet. We haven't got any conversations with anybody yet. Um... So let's uh, let's start the old uh, Vox interpreter by loading the Vox interpreter in holotape into the into our thingy. Medoodle, what's it? There we go. Welcome, Doctor Harrison. The Vox interpreter program is now running. Stand by for today's data assignment. Valid Vox interpretation banks loaded. Ensure you maintain the minimum transmission distance from the dart while you collect the requisite amount of box data per sample. Happy hunting. So, we've got a shoot target with a Vox dart. We've got to get a cat, a wolf, and a rad toad. Okay. The cat could be interesting because I have no idea where we're going to find a cat. But there we go. Hey, John, back. How many deaths? I don't think we've really died very much. We died a few times when we were initially with that horrible floater thing, but I don't think we've died much from then on. Um, late afternoon. I suppose, yes, you're t five hours behind us, aren't you? So, you, yeah, you're about afternoon. John's the one that should be tired, because he gets up at, like, 5.30 every day, the nutcase. Absolute nutcase. Um, I'm guessing that Zane isn't coming to join me, then. <laughs> I'll be all by myself. I don't want to be 
over. Oh, we've got to go back over here again. So we've got to find a wolf over. That's an interesting place for a wolf to be. But anyway, um, where's the cat? That's a rad toad. We've got to get a rad toad there. Where's the little pussy? Where's the little pussy pussy meow? There it is. Shoot a cat with a vox start. So I don't actually know where we are. We're in there in relation. So we can go to Beckwith Farm. And we can try and find a cat. That was my best picture of the uh, <laughs> the wolf. I mean, he was a bit, he was a bit flamey, flame grilled wolf. You could smell him for miles. You slept in today, John. Woke up at six. Ha! Very dare you. Oh, invite. Sorry, yeah. Um. Very dare you. So, it's Catherine Tate. I don't usually like a lot of her stuff, but I really do like Derek. She plays this guy that's clearly incredibly gay, um, but he is com in complete denial. Even though he he'll like get up and then he'll walk off with a a, like, a guy in bondage gear <laughs> and lead him down the road, but he will not admit that he's gay. So he gets these people that like come on to him all the time, and he's like, "Me sir, who said no sir? Gay sir, no sir?" <laughs> and he's like. It's hilarious. It, he, she does it very, very well. Um, probably complete... Oh, there's a rad toad. I don't think we're meant to be getting a rad toad here, are we? No, we're meant to be getting a cat. So, maybe we can do a rad toad? Let's have a look. I mean, I, I'm guessing that we can just shoot any old rad toad. So, let's... Let's get an albino one. Box interpreter subject detected. Transmission so we... initiated. It worked. So we go basically just got to keep near them, and then we can learn what they're saying. This thing is making it easy for me to find food today. That's what. That's the toad. Transmission received successfully. So <laughs> we've we've now completed that. So the toad was he's big and scary, and he wants everybody to, to be frightened of him. Um, but now he can be dead because we've got what we needed. Right? What's this? Oh, Delbert's Mountain Hawks. We know that. Oh, a clean coffee tin. We'll probably scrap it by mistake anyway, but we'll uh, we'll take it. Zane is in the house. Right, we'll take that, take that. Get some wood, because we're probably a bit running short on a bit of wood, aren't we? Always like a good bit of wood. To start the day. Don't you like you like a good bit of wood to start the day, don't you, John? You usually start on a good bit of wood. Um Get rid of that, get rid of that, get my weight down. Load my gun back up and let's go and find a cat. Um, so a cat apparently is in front of us somewhere over this way. Here, putty, putty, putty. Here, putty, putty, putty. I don't actually... There's a lot of... Where's the... 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're in the area where there should be a cat. I don't know whether we're going to be... F uh, um, lucky with finding a cat, to be honest. I know where there's, like, Larry the cat. We could go and shoot Larry, but I don't think Larry will help us. Because he's like an NPC that can't be killed, so I don't think we'll be able to shoot him. Um, we're inside the objective area to find a freaking cat. Really? There's no cats around here. 
Are we actually in? Yes, we are. It's quite a large objective area as well. So maybe we can find a cat over here. Is there a cat on this? Ah, there's cats here. Hello, pussy. Sorry, mate. Valid box interpreter subject detected. Transmission initiated. You are stupid for attacking me. Not today. Yeah, they run fast. I am bad. <laughs> Maybe it will get bored and leave me alone. I do not want to die. Okay, I'll put my gun away then. Ah, this is a scary experience. Box transmission received successfully. Well, we're not going to kill him. He's a little cuss. He's a little putty tear. I put a tar putty tap. I did a deep tar putty tap. Pretty little putty tap. He doesn't want to play with me though. All right, we'll we'll bash these guys back doors in quickly because they they annoy me. All right, this should um, this should massively help. I definitely killed them, didn't it? I don't think I killed them. I think that killed them. So um, should we should we bring these the strategic air command down? I mean they're not doing a very good well they're doing a very good job of flying because they're flying within each other. We're gonna we're gonna uh, unfortunately I can't target their engines. But what I could do oh no I don't have any hmm rather difficult to get them with a shotgun. I kind of need a a bit of a more beefy weapon. Oh, ouch. They didn't like that, did they? They've seen me. I've been spotted. Spotted dick. I'm not called dick, though. Ah! 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 Run away! I'll run back to the pussy. Alright. Hide behind this bush. They'll never see me. There we go. They don't just don't know I'm here. Um, where's my other area that I've got to go to? I've got to go to... Um... Ah! 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 They found me! They found me! They got big guns! Ah! 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 <laughs> if I go up to the top of the mountain, right? <laughs> if I go up here, I reckon I can kill them a bit better. Do I, can I kill him a better? What I need though is um, I can get crit damage every two shots, but <laughs> I can't. I can't keep enough um, of the old. I need some coffee. Let's take some coffee. I can just stop and have a quick coffee whilst they're. Uh... Oh no, that shit! That was carry weight booster. Damn it. Right. Come on, you little buggers. So that's um, meaning I can do crit shots every two shots. But I still need to be closer. That one. Let's see if I can get that one. I need to reload, though. But the... Um, He's nearly down. There he is. Gone. Gone with the wind. I would say, oh, I'm worried about me. Uh... Right, this, this, this is going down easy with, um, with the crit shots. I just got to get the timing right on the old buttons. Another one bites the dust. And another one going, and another he's flying away. He's freaking scared, isn't he? Scared. He has got quite big guns, though, hasn't he? Talking about bushes and pussies, this guy. It's not a very nice thing to say about Zane, is it? 
Have you modded it with AP costs in mind? I sure have. Look at that. That's awesome. I mean, vert a bird that's with a shotgun. I mean, it's a pretty difficult thing to do because it's quite far away and I don't have the... Um, I don't have the range on this weapon. Hence the... Uh, the issues. Oh, he's shooting at somebody else now. But the um, the vats and the crits should make a massive difference when we're doing things that I can actually get <laughs> close to. Stop flying away, you bastard. You wimp. Come here. Face me like a, a robot man. Strategic... I mean, it's a good job that I got plenty of ammunition, isn't it, really? Come on, you wimp. Come on, you wimp. Nearly down. Nearly down. Couple more shots in the fuselage. And boomy. I nearly got hit by a propeller then. That wouldn't have been a good way to end your day, would it? Um. There. Nah, 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 nah. They're all dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Dead, Dave. Everybody's dead. Right, let's go and get this frickin' other th animal. We can only get to Somerville's Dam, so let's go to Somerville's Dam and then let's do an about turn and bugger off the other way. Almost down, GG. Kill it. <laughs> I'm no pussy. Right, we want to go that way. Oh, what's that? Spin the wheel. Oh, it's going to do spin the wheel because spin the wheel, spin the wheel is is good because we get legendaries on this. I think. It's also next to all the stash boxes, which comes in kind of handy as well. Um, we, we do have the irritating cappy and bottle. Okay. Sting wings and um, so we're defending mascots, even though it seems as if um, we're the only people here. It's always the, the what's the yellow mascot today? The yellow mascot is getting buggered. Let's go around here. Oh no! The yellow mascot is down. Can we can we fix the yellow mascot? We can't. Bugger. So now let's get over to the blue one. We're not going to get very much for this now. Okay, I'll bop it. Spin it. Bop it. What are we going to get? We've got to defend this dude here. Oh, he's on the case. He's on the case. Hello, Zane. How you doing? Zane's looking after the blue bottle. So we'll go and look after the red bottle. Um, we've got to find the Cappy Imposter. I have no idea what I'm trying to do here. Find Cappy Imposter. Absolutely not a sausage. Um, there's, they're usually finding gold Cappies. Oh, somebody's done it. I don't actually know what we had to do. Find the Cappy Imposter. No idea. Um. Boop, boop, boom. <laughs> that was uh, the very start of the song Hits from the Bottom. Anglers and Rattle. Oh, fucking hell. Anglers, let's take some blight. Oh, 
Oh, that crit damage is nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, that, that crit damage is really cool. We're uh, we're not getting too hardly hit there. Right. And the fact that it procs to the next thing is really cool. That is nice. That is really, really nice and easy to um, kill. A really difficult thing to kill. Um, and I died as well, which was always good. But that was two anglers. Two anglers. I mean, we, we're not losing anything from dying. Anyway. I mean, it probably helped that there was a guy chainsawing him to the face. These are the bastards that killed me. There's one there. Another little one over there. Look at him. There's his head. That wasn't so exciting. Zane, you're not doing a very good job there. Your blue mascot is nearly dead. <laughs> Were you on your own? <laughs> is that what it was? Um, what do we got to do this time? We're going to get death claws coming out of, of your ass. Oh, it's chicken chase. I, I don't want to be stuck. I think we've got them all, haven't we? Got what a couple left. Got all the chickens. There he is. Got him. We've got them all. We've got all of the freaking chickens. Yeah, we've got the chickens. We have caught all the damn chickens. What's next? I'll give Zane a bit of a hand here. Because this is probably going to be something nasty on this one. So the blight suit definitely makes a massive difference. Right, frog crawler. Ah, they're not going to be... They're going to be big buggers. They're down. Good job. Good bit of protecting. What we got left? And that's it. A ghoul slayer's rolling pin. Freaking fantastic. Always wanted that. I think we got a whacker smacker as well. Which is always a nice bit of script. Loads and loads and loads and loads. Yeah, we got a whacker smacker. There we go. If you want a whacker smacker, this is the place to come. Um, I am very over encumbered now. I've got to go to Anoninki, whatever their name is. Let's smack some stuff down in here. I think we've nearly got all the parts for that as well, so that's quite cool. Um, pop over to this douche. And what do we get? Gold. A ghoul slayer's rolling pin. You can go in the bin. Um, a whacker smacker. You can go in the bin. And we didn't pick up any armor. That's a bloody surprise. Pop all of that in there. Right. Oh, shit. Did I just take something out of my box? Yes, I took a 969 aluminium. That would not have been so much use, would it? Um, right. Where are we going? What were we doing? We were doing the Vox Interpreter. We have got to go and find this dude. So, quickest route is actually up here. Go to the purifying site and get some stuff. More than 999. Um, spin the Wheel of Doom. I did kill them all. Um, unlimited ammo or just more? I oh, know I've got like... It only shows 999, but I've got, I've got... I don't even know when I know how much I've got on me. I've got about 20,000 shells in the box, and I've got 4,300. With a shotgun, you see, you collect far more ammo than you actually use. So it's 
an amazing weapon to build a build around because like other people well i think zane's building that i don't know what i can't remember what he's using he if he's using a semi-automatic like you rinse through ammo so quickly that you need to constantly make it or find like and then you need to find lead and then you need to find plastic and stuff like that whereas with this shotgun build i just i pick up so much ammo i think i'm gonna start i, I don't even know that i can just give it away to somebody <laughs> Um, well, Pepper Shaker is a better shotgun. He, see, Dark Lord will not, he will not agree with me that this is an awesome weapon. It, the Pepper Shaker is not a better shotgun. Um, it doesn't, th this is so good because it has a really, really fast fire rate. Um, plus the, um, the cold on it is just amazing. The cold, um, damage. But I am going to build the my goal for this build at the moment is to um to solo Earl Williams with this. That's my plan. Solo Earl Williams. So I've got to get a bit used to what I'm trying to do with it, and then we are gonna go and we're gonna go bish bash bosh. And Earl is gonna go down. Um and I'm gonna hopefully do him in under five minutes. That's that's my goal. That's my goal. I know it's doable. I know it's doable. But um, we've got to find a wolf. A wolf. The German wolf. We're inside the objective area. I know a guy who could fix that. He isn't a wolf. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> <Mind you. laughs> He's purple. He's purple. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Sorry, mate. Sorry. I, I was I thought you were a wolf. I really did. Honestly. Um I can't see any. Four, three, two, one. Wait, this is the objective area. But I can't see any wolves about. I reckon that dude probably killed them. What a bastard. Somebody purchased my XL. Five of them. fan freaking tastic We're selling chems today. I've never really sold... Oh, there they are. Right, so we've got a... We've got a... It would help if I loaded the freaking thing. Right, we want that one. But we can kill the others. We've got to stay near him. That's all right. We've we've managed to get him away from the pack. Stop moving. Want to eat you? Ow! You smell like food. You killed my kid. I must now kill you. I killed his kid, did I? Oh shit. Am I scary? Not really. Not really. Stop moving, food. I cannot Box transmission received successfully. Am I scary? You're not scary, no. Box Very unscary. Please return holotape to terminal. Congratulations on a job well done, Dr. Harrison. Okay. So we've got to go back and just deposit this um, into a box. We always like to deposit things into a box. Um, where do we have to go? We have to go here, don't we? So let's go back to Monogar. And it will probably... There is no fast travel, easy travel, fast travel point to that area. That that picture of Graham there looks like he's picking me up. It's quite a good picture, actually. <laughs> I could Photoshop that quite well because I look really small and he looks really big. Um, not sold any more grand plans, though. Grand plans. Grand plans. Um, how are you getting on with selling your plans, Zane? They don't deserve that, Nana. Well, they were trying to eat me. I mean, it was either me or them, John. It was me or them. You made 20,045 rounds. I mean, it's 
pretty quick to make the ammo now, I suppose. So it's not that hard. But it's just a pain in the ass that you've got to keep doing it or buying it. Um, whereas at least with this shotgun, you just don't have to. Right, so we've got to deposit that into there. Return the Vox Syringa. Um, there we go. Um, and where do we put the stuff? There we go. And input the data. There we go. Got some script. That was good. We've done that. And we've uh, done our daily. So, we need to do daily operations. So, when Zane is ready, we will um, we will make a daily ops team because um, I don't think I'm the... I know I am the team leader. So, I can change this to a daily ops team and then hopefully that dude will come with us. You got any toast? You want some toast? I toast at 4 a.m. Um, another Red Dwarf quote there. From, I don't know what the toaster's name was. Did he have a name? He probably did have a name. Somebody will be able to tell me. We need to do three of them, though. <laughs> three daily ops. <laughs> um, well, actually, we don't need to do three daily ops, but we can... Um, Let's pop some of these in our basket because we don't really want any of that. We we do we don't really want pulse grenade either. Um, everything else is fine. It's fine. So I'll change this to a daily ops team, which might annoy him, but um, tough. And then we will go and do. Our daily ops. I don't know what it is today. I don't know where it is today. But let's try and achieve it in a swift fashion, shall we? Now, stay casual. But... Don't you get more points for... If I can press the right button, it'll freaking help, wouldn't it? Um... Bonus XP for completing daily ops. Well, we do want to complete it. <laughs> Don't we want to complete do this for the first one? Um, do we not get more? Um, you rerolled that one. Okay. He's not here, is he? I'll wait. I'd thought more for the kills than complete. I do daily ops to get people to join. Up to you. Um, yeah, I just I want to get the um, the rare plans though. So we want to try and do it as quickly as we can. So we want people to come. Not you. <laughs> I'm, t I'm, I'm trying to... You've freaking started it now, you muppet. Right. They're bloody explosive and you can't see them. My favourites. Right, where have we got to get to? Got to get to in here. Bloody hell. Bouncy, bouncy. At least we can get some... Um... They are going to show up at least. Okay, let's head to the first one. It's this way. Ah! 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 In the room! In the room! Why, why is my... Locations pointing to something else. 
That's really, really irritating. I'm at site alpha. Are you at coming to site alpha? Or have you... Oh, yeah, there you are. Awesome. Awesome sausage. We've got a full team. We should be able to do this quickly. Get all of the... Uh, all of the sausage. Why can't I see these dudes? I'm gonna stay... Don't worry, I'm staying close. Ow. He's, um... I can't see those dudes. I think I've got something visual impairment or something. Because everyone's shooting at these things that I can't see. I can see that rat. I can see that rat as well. And that one. They're all shimmery. But it's not like gold. They're all over there. That's alright, they can all stay over there. But those dudes need to come cl closer, don't they? It's not really a VAT type of thing, is it? Okay, I can see ya. I can see ya. He's a bit... He was a bit far away. That dude. He was a bit far away. Zane always goes and sits on everything. Have you noticed? He sits on everything. There's none coming from around the back. So we'll, we'll sit there. Okay, so we've got to boost the signal at site Bravo. So that's this way. Boom! 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 Boom, boom, shake the room. It said boom, boom, shake the room. And I've probably gone the wrong way. Boom, boom, shake the room. I said boom, boom, shake the room. Boom! He, he's got a bit of a mighty power than me for, for running. Can I get there first? No, he's already boosting. He's boosting. Good. I'm glad you're starting to see that signal. Ow! Oh, scotch yo! Oh, that was... Uh, I negated that one quite well, didn't I? Didn't negate that very well, did I? <laughs> okay. It's hard when you can't see the enemy. Don't worry, I got him. Don't worry, Mr. Manowing. Don't worry. We're alright. We're doing it fine. We're doing it fine. I got that one. I saw. Oh, I can see something coming. That one's down. And another level. 97. We're nearly on that 200. The big 2 0. Do you reckon we're going to get to level 200 or finish the scoreboard first? I reckon level 200 is um, not that far away, even though we're not really concentrating on intelligence as a build anymore. Well done. Where have we got to get head to handle? We've got to, we've got to go to, got to go to Kermish. Who's Will? Poor old Will. We've got to fire at him. Here they are. Oh my God! There's a lot of them, isn't there? Oh, he's not even there, is he? Where is it? Right. 
There's Will. Yeah, we do. But why does it always spawn? Every single daily ops I do, the enemy spawns on the other side of a frickin' map for me. So I can never get there before they've killed it. So annoying. Yeah, see? Couldn't get that. Why does it spawn with them, but not with me? Every freaking time. How annoying. It's like, I'd like you to get a shot on one of the enemies once, please. Thank you, guys. Very much appreciated. Even though I never get to hit the enemy. That was a quick time. Very quick time. I was I was thinking this one was probably going to be worse than that. Um, but we did alright. I don't think I really helped much, to be fair, in that one. I can never see the buggers. <laughs> but while we're in it, we'll grab some brain fungus. But, because uh, why not? It's what you do when you're in this uh, this part of town. Do 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 boop boop do 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 boop boop. Jumpy jumpy, thank you very much. Um, I think that's probably enough brain fungus for one day, but we'll take these. We've got some more down here. I'm sure there's some more fungus. Fungus the boogeyman. Some here. Mm -hmm. We're not over encumbered, are we? No, we're not. Take those. This is why we've got so many shotguns. Um, sweet. Collect everything. That dude, I'm sure I hit him. Yeah. No legendaries, though. That's um, disappointing, but I suppose we get them from this, don't we? 6 minutes, 23 seconds. I thought it was a lot less than that. Um, I thought it was like 4 minutes, but there we go. That's that's done. Um, Brotherhood Special Ops Mask Plan. Very nice. Very nice. And congratulations, Old Explorer, for winning another 2,000. Only on 413,000 now. In my quad fixer, bitches, you, you cannot hurt Zane by mistake, can you? No, I can't. No. Um, maybe I should get a rifle. I know I, I, I should probably get a rifle, but I don't want a rifle. Junkies lead pipe. Awesome sausage. I'm so glad about that. Deep space alien power armor jetpack paint that I've got for like a fourth time. You can't sell it and you can't give it away. That was just not a successful day, was it really? Not a successful daily ops for me. <laughs> Please do hit that like button though. We're, we're a bit down on the old likes tonight. We're only got 10. Um, right. Back to... Well, let's go to the nearest... Um, s train station. Which one's... Well, we're right smack bang in the middle, aren't we, really? Let's go to Sunny Top. Do 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 do. Ba bum bum bum. know what we were meant to be doing. Right, let's go to here and squat some squat. I have to go all the way round. Oh, I need to change the team back, don't I? There we go. That'll make people happy. And if it doesn't, well, uh, screw you! Um, legendary thingy, junkies lead pipe. Don't know how we didn't live without that. And boop, 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 boop. that can go as well. We've got polished polished doodle what's it so 
It's always lovely, this. I reckon that might smell a bit around here. Don't you think? Might smell a bit. So now we're looking for somewhere to put a nice camp. And I'm up for taking suggestions, but where... I mean, we could look around this area, because this is... We get... A, Palace of the Winding Path gets a lot of events. Um, we want to be near a train station, mainly for a, a couple of reasons. One... Because if somebody comes and they want to buy something, but they've got enough caps, they can quickly waddle to the train station that's near you and um, get the caps. So that's one reason. Two. Because everybody likes to chew chew. Um, I don't know the second reason. I think it's just that that will probably be a better place to do, um, to have a trading type of of base um the obvious place and i should think there's a little like caravan place around there isn't there can we build onto that we want to build an emporium an emporium of shops and why is my oh, for some reason i'm very over encumbered have i just picked up no we haven't got that we've got, we've got no missiles on us Oh, electrified assault drum blade. Spin the wheel ornament. Oh, Wild West show entrance sign. That's quite quite awesome. Let me see. Deep, al deep space alien power on paint. You can't sell it and you can't drop it. So. Oh, and we earned the cranberry radish from somewhere. It's really irritating. Because what's the point in having it? <clears throat> Let's have a something that we can't do anything with. We got loads of big weapons on us or something. Well, I mean, I've got a big weapon on me, but enough of that. Um, I don't think we have. We've got nothing on us. So what is taking up so much of 27 purified water isn't going to help. Um, we've got a lot of meat. I suppose we have got a lot of meat, and those are the wrong type of sugar bombs. Um, I think it's the meat... And berry, oh no, berry mentos. 50 stim packs is probably going to be also a little bit over the top. We could sell that raw crimson flux because we're not going to make it. So let's quick. I know what we did as well. Have I done this whole thing with freaking super duper on? I have, haven't I? I bloody have. So I could have done a lot more. Um... So my vax crits were not doing 100 damage and they were still good. Oh, freaking wrong blooming perk cards on, didn't I? Let's get a load of stuff. And, um... Oh, the, uh... So you're, disem you're, you're back before you disembark. That's an interesting one, that is. Um... Thanks, Dark Lord. It does work. The member page. Be back later. Cheers, John. I think that's what that means, anyway. <laughs> I'm not I'm not down with the kids. Fried frog cooler. Awesome sausage. We can't make an awesome sausage because that would be quite cool if we could make an awesome sausage. I think actually, no, you can. You can make fashnack sausages, but we don't have the recipe because we've never done fashnack on this character. And then we could make an awesome sausage. Which would be awesome sausage, wouldn't it? Stingwing fillet. That's Oh my god, how do we get so much... We've got so much meat on us. For a vegetarian, we certainly are... We're certainly doing a very good job of hiding the fact we're a vegetarian, aren't we? What can I make with this? Still can't make granny's tea. Right, we've propped loads and loads of food. So, let's go back over to the frickin' station. All the way over here. It's all the way up! It's all the way up. I can hear the bloop bloop of some bloody scorched douchebag wandering around with a backpack. He could have just taken it off. But he's probably wondering where that boop boop is coming from. So let's trade and get some stuff. Um, here we go. Right. 
We can sell... Oh, no, we're going to keep the caramel moot fruit. That's quite cool. Fried frog crawler can go. That 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 can go. Caps available in exchange for That can go. So it wasn't, we weren't actually carrying that much. Um, don't really need that. Don't need that. Oh, collect caps. We've done we've done the challenge. Awesome source. Um, get rid of that. Right, that's what we want to get rid of. Sell that. Although we did actually sell the XL earlier, so we probably should have popped that in our basket, but never mind. And that's that. 3,050 out of 3,300. We are boosting, though. We are boosting. I don't think we've got anything left to do now, though, have we? Oh, no, we've got daily operations we could do. Um, and a repeatable... And a complete a gold star daily challenge. Well, we can't do that until tomorrow, unfortunately, because we've finished all our daily challenges. Let's go and have a look on the scoreboard. Oh, we're, we're nearly near that star-studded stein. Um, sounds like a gek problem. 440,719 points. <laughs> Absolute nuts. So, let's have a look around this area. What's this? We've got Monogar Mon Monoga Mine. We've got... It's quite a big area in Monaga, isn't it? Monaga, Monaga Power Plant, Monaga Mine. Metal Dome. So actually, test your metal. So around this kind of area here would probably be quite a good area for a um, camp. Go this direction. We haven't actually been up here. So let's go and find out what this is. I'll get in the back of the bus. Oh, bobby pins. And a hat. Oh, a blue and orange. Blue and navy one. A Yushanka hat. Get ready for our skiing adventure. Um, you can't put the skis on, which is quite annoying. Pardon me. I do apologise for yawning like that. Um. Oh. <laughs> Let's put the right perk cards on this time. That would be really helpful. Let's take put that on and put on better criticals. That would um and let's put no, we're alright. Um Sunny Top Ski Lanes. Well this is a, this is probably quite a good place as well for Super Mutant um Oh he was, he's a legendary as well. An anti armor bowie knife. Lucky me. A one star anti armor bowie knife. I've. Uh, would get David with that one. Right, somewhere in here there's some traps. Someone there. Well, good, good uh, observation, Mr. Super Mutant. The uh, massive amount of shotgun noise is. Uh, didn't give it away at all. Oh, there's a bloody tick somewhere. What does this say? Um, w Y M H. M. My. I don't even know what that's meant to say. We'll take it anyway. Um, usually they've got it so it spells out something. So like this one, will, if you stand at a certain angle. No, they haven't got that either. So um, those were just randomly placed, I'm guessing. Humans, so small, so weak. So small and so weak. And yet we still manage to blow the back doors off you, don't we? Let's see what's in number four. Garden name. Concrete, that's what they do. They have concrete. Stupid noises. Stupid noises. This is how I, ex I think Dark Lord talks. It's in my mind. I, I know how he talks, because obviously we've spoken 
to each other before. Um, but I always think of him as a super mutant. Not slow and stupid in any way, but just like mischievous and wanting to kill Gek all the time. And he's getting hungry. He's also not big and green. I mean, he might be big and green. Ow, ow, ow. Crits, uh, it kind of helps if you use the crits, if you've got them. <laughs> Sounds like a kid. All the way up. Oh, that doesn't look like a very nice way to uh, have ended, does it? Right through the genitals. Um, in Vault 94, well, they never did very well, did they? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, huh? I went to read the Aust Aust Awesome you. Tales. Astoundingly Awesome Tales. That's what I went to read. He's, he's getting a bit mad now. That's two Yashanka hats in a row. <laughs> Right, that's uh, there's another. Oh, that's chained from the other side. Can we get in that one? No, that's chained from the other side as well. I think we've just, yeah, activated some kind of trap. So, I can never find my way around it. Surprisingly enough, it's not like me at all, is it? To to get like out? What did I just start? Oh, I stood on that. Um. There's a way of getting down here. Oh. But I've always got the... Ow! Ow! Take the short laser gun so it stops doing me damage. Some psycho. Look at you, psycho. Here he is. Um, right. We're getting a near... Have we done it? Did we do that then? Or did we not do that then? I don't want a minigun. What did I pick up that I really don't need? Um, I probably don't need half of that shit, but some have got it now anyway. Uh, weapon. I don't need that. 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 Don't need that and don't need that. There we go. That can... That can stay there for good measure. Oh, potato crisps. We should be allowed to eat those. Yeah, we can eat those. That's not a vegetarian vegetarian option. Um, we've got to get downstairs. So I can't ever remember how to get downstairs in this place. But we'll find it. Oh, Coke. We're a bit short of... Uh... We're a bit short. Full stop, really. Um, how do I get downstairs? I'll take the Sunny Top Ski Lane's Room 6 key because that sounds like it's probably going to be useful for something. I've got to fight. Ah, here we are. Ooh. Something that's totally useless. That's good. We'll take the lap. Thank you very much. That will also stop it from making that irritating noise. There's more, though, isn't there? There's more ticks around. <laughs> um, what's it saying? <laughs> I can't get my PS5 controller to work with Fallout 76. Well, what are you doing with it? So boring. So boring. It's not that bad. I mean, my streams are alright. I mean, they're not that amazing, but they're, they're not, like... It's a bit cheeky, really, I think. Calling it so boring. Fucking hell. Um, uh, you've got to... Um, you've got to make Steam... Um, have... Um, Recognise it. So you obviously can't... <laughs> That's quite good. Two eight balls. <laughs> That's brilliant. I like that. I'm going to try and get a picture of that. Um, two, I, I must have seen this before, but they've used two eight balls in the skull.
I'm looking at you, kid. Now you look here. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty skull. Um, that one gives quite a good... He's all the way up. I'm looking at you, bitch. Take one with zip without the um, thingy as well. Because the Photoshop and all. Oh, good. I'm picking up the disease cures. Because I'm always getting diseases. So that'll be useful. Got anything else in here? Oh, Mentats and a Bobblehead. There are only orange Mentats, but Vincent's friend fr Fried Terminal, whatever it is, whatever it says. Um, plugged it in. Yeah, but have you plugged it in after you've started Steam and after you've start well after you started Fallout seventy six? Because it's got to be, um, it's got to be plugged in before you start. Fallout 76. So, did you do that? They've restarted a few times. Is, um... Have you selected... In Steam itself, you need to go in and make sure that you've got PlayStation um, support in the controller section. Um, because it might be thinking it's an Xbox controller in Steam. I know it, it will still work on a lot of games, but if you haven't got it specifically set to um, to take as a PlayStation controller, then some games are really funny with that. Um, once that's then set, you should be fine. I mean, it should literally just start. And it should just work fine. Um, you, if you start it Fallout 76 with a controller though you can't use oh sorry mate I uh, didn't want to barge in there I knew you were around somewhere um, If you so if you um, start with the con aha so that was firing a missile launcher at me which is always very nice um so yeah, if you start with key with um, keyboard and mouse, start the game with keyboard and mouse, you won't be able to use. A, you can switch to a controller, um, but if you start with a controller, I don't think it lets you go back to keyboard and mouse without restarting and unplugging the controller. Um, you should be all right. I mean. I don't think it's an older version that you have or anything. I mean, I know you won't have an older version of Steam, but it's... Um, I wanted to boil water, not the beer. Um, beer makes you queer. I must be an absolute, total and utter queer then. Because I love beer. Uh, I think we've cleared this place out, to be honest. But it's quite a good little area for um, a little bit of XP farming and stuff. And there's a bobblehead location there. Um, it's not the prettiest location in the world. I'm guessing we can't get up there. Um, what is that location? So that's the that is the. Um, let's have a look around these hills, because sometimes there's some really cool places on these hills, and it's oh. She's definitely dead. I thought she might just be face planting and sleeping. But no, she was definitely dead. Oh, what's this? Is this an actual location? Or is it just some random little bits in the map? Because if it's random bits, then it's um, it could be a potentially good area to build. Um, I quite like using the existing areas. So we've got some some tent. I mean, this this could be quite nice to actually build something around this. Have the um, have the vendors like underneath, and then 
put some stuff around. I don't know how much of that we can actually use because it's on some very funny angles. Um, good view though, actually. It's a good view. A room with a view. We don't have a particularly big range of the camps. I think that's that's one of the building things that I dislike about this, other than the fact that it's an absolute pain to do the building in this bloody program. And I think it was... Full ah, shit! And it fell off the... If you go down sideways, sometimes... There we go. Sometimes you can... Um, you can land softly. Singing the softly with his drum. Oh, what's that? That's a, a rad stag. Um, that's a rad stag over there. Lots of rad stags. This could have been where I took the picture. I mean, that looks like it could be an interesting place to go up there on that big rocky path. But I don't know. Hey, Forking, how you doing? Redeem Welsh. Are you listening here? He's not the Bazaar. He's a very naughty boy. Why did it not redeem Welsh? <laughs> how are you doing? You redeemed the naughty boy anyway, but I don't know why it redeemed... Oh, Welsh costs 100 gears, you only have 54. Why does Welsh cost 100 gears and naughty boy not? But yes, please do hit the uh, hit the like button. The The version described in Google results was older, mentioning a button to configure general settings is now a number or toggles. Got it working. Awesome, you got it working. Cool. Yeah, it is a, it's a bit finickety with that in Steam. The fact that you have to um, have to do all that. But you're um, you're not in my team anymore. You left me. You left me all by myself. Don't wanna be all by myself. I really bad singing, isn't it? Um, that's quite nice that you can see Red Rocket in the background. Well, that, that's, I'm never going to hit that beast, am I? Um, you can see Red Rocket in the background there. Am I close enough to... This might be a nice nice little area. I am quite close. So I'm next to Sunny Top Ski Lanes. I've got a good view. That's Because uh, that was one of my things. I wanted to have aesthetics. It needed to be aesthetically pleasing. Um... I'm not going to build it too close to that. What is that in front of me? That looks like a somewhere I haven't been. That's where Scorch Beasts come from. So that there is a, um, a, a fisher site in front of me. So that could be good for, for farming legendary Scorch Beasts. And then quickly fast traveling back here. They'll fly up and you can smack them on the way up. But it is quite aesthetically nice. Um, we could just chop all these trees down. And we've got a nice flat bit to work with here. Yeah, I think this works quite well. Darklaw, can you think of any reason why this wouldn't be a good... Oh, beaver! Oh! Let's see if we can tame it. I got really excited then with a the beaver. Nice beaver. Um, is it intelligence? No. What is it? Um, no, endurance, no, luck, no. Agility, I don't think it's agility. Where is this bloody po- oh, it must be in this. Wasteland... Right, what is the difference between Animal Friend and Wasteland Whisperer? Because... Pacify. Hello, Mr. Beaver! Are you my pet now? Nice beaver! So let's put my camp down then. Because now we've got ourselves a beaver. Um, there we go. Oh, wrong one. Camp 2. Activate camp. Camp activated. I want to move the camp. 
to yes it used to cost you to move your camp but you can't anymore now are you are you going to be my mate oh you can only tame it if it says tame <sighs> you haven't been out in bristol much have you forking there's a lot more monkey beavers you can find out there trust me <laughs> You got robbed. Ah, yeah, yeah. Somebody broke in the night and stole all your gears, didn't they? And then we thought that you were actually meaning you were robbed in real life. Um. Somebody had a camp pet as a, as a beaver the other day. I saw it. Saw it with my own eyes. So, I'm guessing it's not that card. I'm guessing that it isn't Animal Friend and it's um, Wasteland Whisperer. No? So how do you get it? To, I've never been able to make this work. And I see other people all the time with a freaking pet. And I can't do it. But somebody definitely had a beaver. They had a beaver. See, pacify. But how do I now make it my pet? Um... Harder than that. Um, Eleven likes. We've got one more. Forking, have you liked? Make sure you like, please. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, no problem, Dark Lord. It's harder than that, but um, yeah. <laughs> it's now turned <laughs> yellow, not red. Yeah, it's... um. Well, it's not really yellow, it's white. But yeah, it's because I, I've tamed it. I tamed the beaver. Look at that. You wouldn't wanna you wouldn't wanna pet that, would you? It would also it's gotta be careful that it doesn't flick itself back and stab it in the stab itself in the face. Um but so now it's detected and it's now not, so can pacify it, but is there another perk card I wonder that I have to have on to actually get a pet. Let's have a look on our um, our perk cards. Animal friend, right? We own that at max rank, so that should no be no problem. Um, is there something that you have to have to? No. No idea then. Absolutely not a sausage. Because they definitely, definitely, definitely had their um So I can't tame that either. Oh she got away with it, she got away. So is this going to be a nice place to have a base? I think that we could, I could think we can work with this. We can have a thoroughfare here. It's a good flat bit of land to, to work with. I quite like the, um, the ground. And it's even better if we get beavers spawning here. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, there's not really any water here, so I don't know why a beaver would be spawning here at all. But we're right up on a mountain. Look at the link. Um, cool, let's have a look. Um, copy current address and pop it in to there. That is not what I wanted to do, you stupid program. Here we go. Have you ever wanted to tame an animal before? I'm not sure where to look. Most of her copy of the data mind, read and count them up. Mm -hmm. 
Animal Friend Rank 3. You do not need Whisper and Whisper at all. Full stop. Once you tame the animal and it makes it safely to your camp, you're free to unequip the card. Animal Friend becomes level 30. We've got rank 3, but it still won't tame. How to tame? Right. Beaver. Animal friend rank. Ah, so we actually need it to... Yeah, so you can tame a beaver. Head to your chosen random encounter location. If you don't see a tameable there, clear the encounter. If you can, and move on to the next. Just found something. Aim your gun at the animal you wish to tame, and you should see get a tame prompt. Press hold of the key button, you see Antenna confirms you want to send it to your camp. So pacify get if you only see pacify, get closer. Button sites that you have per equipped, you may have to get very close. Okay, so let it's basically we weren't close enough to the beaver. It seems. Look at the Yeah, but it, is it only random encounters then? So even if I get really close to the beaver. Like really, I'm 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 on top of the beaver. I'm humping the beaver. I am humping the beaver. I think I've caught something from the beaver. So it's not that one then. So I can't get that beaver to my camp. But we can get a beaver. Let's have a look at, at Dark Lord's map then. Sorry if I'm um I'm looking away. I'm I'm looking at the. Uh, Oh, it not so. Ah, okay. So it's only it's random encounters only, right? So, but I want a beaver. So I've got to try and find this. Um, your first link had a map of the random encounters, so. Oh man, that's going to be a difficult one, isn't it? There's a lot of them. Scene, travel, objects, salt, white spring, object. Um, I don't think that's the same map, is it? But how do I know what is going to be in that Bloody hell, there's a lot of locations. So there's just, you've got to go to each one of those locations to try and find a particular random encounter animal. Seriously. That's ridiculous. Why can't you just tame a wild one? Tame a wild beaver. Yeah, that's the map that I've just opened, Dark Lord. But that's a lot of different locations. Bloody hell. I want to tame a beaver. Will I ever be able to tame a beaver? <laughs> so designs. What kind of designs should we do with this, um, with this base? We've got our base down. Gex like wild beaver, yeah, I, I like it. Or wild, firm and fruity, like Nursey. Well, did we manage to get that? No, we didn't. We we're on like three one seven five out of three three hundred. How many? Um, eight hundred fifty three out of ten thousand. I suppose we could just do a white a, a run to. Um, oh, if we join that. There's a bloody beaver near me. I'm not. Well, I'm not fast travelling because there's a freaking beaver near me. That's ridiculous. What's the beaver gonna do to me? Seriously, suck my toes or something? Thank you. Um. This might get us some XP. Same might already be there doing it. It's a scorch beast, I suppose. There is a chance to um get a legendary. 
this isn't a mutated event. Are they still on? No. Um. Ooh, somebody's got glitter. Boosh. Is that a um? Is is the glitter from a particular? It's from a particular weapon, isn't it? I don't know whether my um vats has, has got worse. I think the vats, pardon me, the vats accuracy has got worse because I haven't got the um vats criticals on. Um, the perk card for that. The um concentrated fire. That's the one. I haven't got that on. Um, I'm guessing these dudes are just going to kill. Why can't I run? So the crits work better now, but the, the actual VATS hits don't are rubbish. So I've got to just make sure that I only ever use VATS crits. Unless I'm really up close and personal. We never got that bloody Mylurk um, or Merlark or whatever they're bloody called. We just never got that thing. I, I just don't know what one looks like. But that's gone now. That was weeks ago. That was yesterday. But yesterday's dailies. Didn't get to do it. At all. When people use these massive great big guns, it is quite irritating sometimes. They should just all use shotguns. Nice and simple. Makes no big boomies. Mylark Hunter, that's what it was. Still have got no clue what a Mylark Hunter looks like. I I'm pretty certain it's the one that has um like it's it's draped in like seaweed and stuff. You can actually now turn the camera shake off, which might be a good idea. <laughs> the vents like this. Hello. I need myself. I need to roll myself a nice bloodied fixer, don't I? Are you just standing there next to a damage? No, you're not. Okay, I'll let you off. This one's damaged, though. No one repairing these beasts. Well, I suppose they do take quite a lot of shit to. Uh... Raining. Actually gone insane. Cool, completed. Right, and here comes the beastie. Oh, it is a legendary scorch beast as well. So let's get some uh, let's get some shots in on this beast. I actually did manage to get enough shots to get something. Aristocrats cry later. Fan freaking fantastic. <laughs> Not doing too well with our luck today. I think we lucked it all out on that um, that roll the other day. We did actually earn a um, an update mod for that weapon. I think earlier. I, I'm not going to put it there, am I? I'm not picking up the BP. It's all the way up. I actually got up onto one of those pylon things and it let me put my the camp the tent thing down but I couldn't build anything anywhere so there was obviously a way of doing it but I couldn't I didn't know how to do it um anti armor bowie knife script I don't know why we're carrying it around aristocrats cry later script Anything? Oh no! Right, let's pop those script items. We haven't got much script today. I was thinking we were gonna do a bit of collecting. Um, let's. We can't go back to a base because we haven't got a base to go back to. Oh yes, we can. We can go back to hops. Oh no, that's. 
Okay, so we can fast travel there. We can hop between them. That's quite nice. I, like before when I did this, so I've only really had a go at having two camps um, made. Um, you had to pay to put the net to move the camp. And there was a lot of um, a lot of fannying around involved. Um, let's get rid of this. Are we going to learn any plans? Large Bennett. Not my gramophone. Um, do 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 do. Bum ba da bum bum bum. Boom ba da bum bum. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, that was Thomas. Um, Scorch Beast Heart. But does he shut through the heart? We pick up so much of this rubbish. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. When do we get gold ore? Do, 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 And super duper do boo do boo do do and make some um stuff. What are we making? We're smelting because we've got so much here and it takes up so much weight, all this ore. And if we can get loads of stuff with it, we're gonna want lots of this raw this stuff. My god, look at that. Look at that, Zane. Twenty lead scrap. That's going to make me loads of, of lead. Um, we'll need it for the building of our new base. But I'm going to have to work out wh how I want to build it and what I want to build. All I know is I want to build some like of an emporium um, to try and get people in the door. Get my foot in the door as it was. Um, right, we've got loads there. Nothing useful. So now we can scrap. Look at all of that stuff that we got back then. Awesome sausage. So, what's the time? 23.32, okay. You read chat. <laughs> Hope when Gek grows up he gets a nice house and a real gun. <laughs> Forest and the Divide have a higher chance of being... Yeah, I think I'll have to have a look, Dark Lord, and um, at the map that you sent me. I'll, I'll have a look at it and then try and find some areas that then we can just, like, try and farm and get that beaver. Because we need to build, from just, just skim reading what you said, you need to have a base built there anyway that you want it to go to. So I want it to go to Camp 2. So therefore, I, um, because obviously I need people to come and pet my beaver. Um, and they can... I might better get a stuffed beaver as well, if I'm lucky. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So we've completed the dailies. Completed the... Well, we haven't done the weeklies. But we can't can't complete all the weeklies. Um, we are on rank 92. We're nearly so close to 93. And then, then we've got this one, which means we get the rubber monster outfit. So we'll get that tomorrow. That'll be awesome. We'll get that tomorrow. I'm really, really looking forward to that. That was like one of my favourite things. I'm just going to check the shop because I think we've got a few days left on some of this stuff. Yeah, 19 days on that is the stuff that's going. I've got the PVC shower curtain. We're all good. Um, was there anything that is going to be... Oh, medieval camp bundle. Where did they add that in? Let's have a look at this. Oh, I quite like that. Oh, yeah, I like those stairs. I can't see how that's medieval, but it's more raidery, isn't it? Don't touch. That's the one that's at the um, one of the events. It's got that box outside it. 
Those might be quite good walls, actually, to outside. Medieval fence kit. That's actually quite quite good for where we're going to be building. Do we get an electric chair? No. Horde stash box. Med medieval fence kit. The rack power armor station. The power armor. St That's a power. That is awesome. That goes really well with what we want to do. An execution mark. Medieval stairs. So yeah, th this might work really well with what we've got there. Um, I'm, I haven't gotten the money to buy it, but we can have a look. What's this? Good fortunes bundle of uh, fortune teller. I quite like that. That's quite cool. That would be really good if that was a if that was a tent. If that was a survival tent, that would be awesome. Um, but it's not. Eight ball backpack for a fortune teller cart. Message board trail at kiosk. Is it? It isn't a, a camp, is it? It isn't a um, Dark Lord or no. That trailer is not a... Um, it's just a trailer, isn't it? It's not a um, survival tent. Because that would be a really good survival tent. Because it would be as if you've like wheeled it around. Quite like that, though. I'd quite like to get the message board. And I like the plushie, but I don't want... All the rest of the stuff. Wonder whether you can get that. CD shed. This is the really good one, I think. Oh no. This wasn't the um this wasn't a No. I think uh, Fallout First Tent. I want I wanted that one to be the tent, but it isn't, is it? It's just a shed. It's a shop. Oh, okay. I wish it would give you more of a description as to what it actually is and what you can do with it. Let's have a look back on that one. So, fortune teller outfit, neon palm reader stone, fortune teller headband, able back rubber, back, fortune teller cart. But there's nothing there. I mean, it says open. I can see that, but it. There isn't anything that says that it's a, like a shop that it would actually be used as a shop. But that would be pretty cool. He's got balls. He's got real balls. Um, I do like that kit, that thing there though. And then we could pop the um. We could put the blackboard on top of it, and then write on the blackboard the offers that we've got for the shop. Code of delivery bundle. So some of these are really good. Some of these items, they're trying to tempt me, aren't they? They're trying to tempt me to spend lots of caps that I don't have. Um, tavern wallpaper? No, we don't. Laser grid door. Secret service. Now that's quite nice. I'm surprised that... I think Zane has this, actually. It's nice and um, nice and simple and black. And it is quite, quite good. Escaped patient outfit. That's awesome. There's some really cool stuff this week. Really cool stuff. Um, I don't like any of those, though. That's... Oh, hedges? They're awful. <laughs> they are really, really bad. <laughs> they look nothing like hedges, do they? Red cedar hedges. The bits they've stuck on do, but I don't think that person who's designed that has ever gone outside. Um, skull drum set. Oh, that's nice as well. And it lights up. And it's got the snare drum made of cat. Uh, not the snare drum, the, um, what's that drum called? The one in the middle made of caps. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's, there's lots of the Pioneer Scouts. Ever up as well. Oh, we've got that as well. I quite like that one. Oh, and the brown skin for that. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'll, um, what's the Fallout first catch-up? Yeah, that's just that one. I, that's probably the best one so far, just because of the ability to scrap stuff in it. Um, oh, where am I gone? Where have I gone? What's this one? Have I seen this? Yeah, I've seen this. Those walls are quite good, though. But I've got the curtain. We're all right. I've got the curtain. So I've got to potentially look at these, even though we've got 30% off. I wish you could just... I suppose I've got... If I can 
actually I've got all of those caps from that other the other account so I'll have to make a list and then an email and see see what I get sent back to me um, we might be able to have some good stuff so anyway that's where I'm going to leave it for today thank you guys for coming along um, I'll probably be back tomorrow. Um, Gabby's away all week, so we'll um, hopefully see you then. So good night, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit a like if you haven't already, and um, see you later. Bye-bye.